everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of the Laughing Boys podcast. It's me, your boy, CJ, and I'm here with my other boys. I'm Chris. Depo. They call me Liam. And, Occasionally. <laughs> and today we just finished watching the uh, Oscar-winning movie, uh, Best Picture, uh, Parasite. Yeah, I believe it won four Oscar awards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenplay. Uh, International. Yeah, Best Director as well. Mm. And Best Picture. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we just watched it today. Mm-hmm. As a few, a few of us, it was our first time. And Depot, it was your second time? Yeah, it was my second time watching it. I watched it ahead of the Oscars, just because of all the buzz I was hearing. And it was good. It was I really, really liked it. Yeah. So this film usually, like, I mean, it's <clears throat> promotional activities, whatever. It was pretty much just word of mouth, was it not? Yeah. Like people yeah. just saw it and then people, it just spread across through word of mouth. I mean, I didn't really see any trailers or promotional posters or stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's very difficult to market something, something like that. Especially like foreign films in general. They're very yeah. hard to like mark out to like yeah. this audience or western audiences I guess mm. yeah that's part of the reason why they uh, foreign films usually have their own category yeah. so for it's kind of wild that a foreign film like this has managed to uh, break through all of that and just end up as best picture overall mm. yeah I mean has any other foreign film ever come close to this type of success mm. I personally don't know <laughs> research maybe <laughs> that Italian film about uh, the Second World War. Oh, piano, the pianist. No, the um, something about life. So, I don't remember the name. Wonderful life. Something. Yeah, a wonderful. Oh, life. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. He won. He was nominated for a few categories by mm. one foreign film. Yeah, got me thinking about that other film. I forgot what that film is. Um, I forgot who's in it, but it's like a. It, actually, it might be that film where the dude's like. No, it's a different film thing, where the guy's like stuck in... Get your facts right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck in like a Nazi concentration camp, and like his son's with him and his family, and he keeps trying to keep his son entertained, so he keeps like doing a bunch of things to make him think he's on holiday, instead of actually about mm. to go to a death chamber. Shit. <clears throat> That's the next <laughs> <laughs> Took a dog To give it a light, yeah. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, so we watched it today. Mm. What are your guys' thoughts about what we experienced today? Liam, you want to go first? Dead movie. We never watch again. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty good. On a scale of, on a ten scale, I give it like an eight point eight, which is what I gave Joker. Um, a film where some guy just laughs for the whole film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a bit of laughing at the end. You know, so. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a very interesting film about different classes and social statuses. Mm-hmm. Very. I don't know actually. It's a lot to it's a lot to unpack from that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were just we just watched it what ten minutes ago? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah. Really? yeah, so we are like very fresh. <laughs> yeah. It's still <laughs> playing in the mind and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I'm great. pretty sure like in a couple of hours you'd be thinking about something else different yeah, yeah. within the film. So should we do uh some few minutes about overall without spoilers or we should dive in? Um I'd say you know, we could just give our basic opinions first mm-hmm. yeah. right yeah, yeah and then you know after our basic opinions we could decide if we can go into spoilers or whatnot yeah. no yeah. no big man if they ain't watched it and they listen to this it's your own fault you get spoiled <laughs> <laughs> okay CJ what do you think of the film I enjoyed it very much it's it's a nice break from the stuff I usually watch like uh-huh. I when going to the movies I tend to watch fucking superhero movies all the goddamn time and as much as I enjoy those it's nice to watch a movie that isn't that every once in a while and uh films like this it it makes you it makes you think a lot it's like fairly thought provoking uh seeing seeing lives from different perspectives and things like that uh, and you were talking before about the uh, social class thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's very prevalent throughout the film. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, before watching this film, 
I thought everyone was rich in South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought they were born with a Samsung phone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Never realized that you know there are classes even there. Yeah, it's quite surprising. I mean, like, I just feel like, well, I can't say for every specific Asian country, but my, in my country in Thailand, like, um, you're either really rich or you're really poor. Mm. It's very difficult to find the in between, and you know you'll find you'll see in the city like. Where the buildings are, like really new, really new, like beautiful buildings, but then it's next to like a slum place, mm. and it kind of yeah. like takes you out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And so like, like get a job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not saying that, by the way, guys. Yeah, I'm not trying to get in trouble here. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It does take you out of it. But seeing it through this film as well, yeah. I wouldn't also expect it from. Korea, just because mm-hmm. of how like you kind of only hear good things about mm-hmm. South Korea anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, South yeah. Korea. You only hear good things about South yeah. Korea. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know. So it was a bit surprising to see something like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Social divide and all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like that's where all of our favorite musical groups come from. South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's favorite musical group comes from South. Like yeah, that it is weird to think about like the actual the other side of a country like South Korea like you said all the good things we hear about it it's just I think for different countries uh, everyone has like uh, everyone has like a perception of it in their minds of what it's like so to actually see the other side of it from someone who's actually been so someone who's actually from there uh, it opens your eyes to how similar we all actually are yeah in mm-hmm. a weird way yeah <clears throat> so this is the second kind of like big film from Bong Joon-ho what was the first one? first one is Snowpiercer oh yeah oh about. yeah with Chris Evans really? he directed uh, that film as well yeah yeah wow and he was already like kind of famous after that one yeah Thanks. apparently yeah. that was like a cult that was a cult following from yeah. that film and he was adamant about this one being in Korean with mm. subtitles everywhere in the world. And I kind of see why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. There are like some of, some languages, yeah. especially in Asia, they rely a lot in like body language. Yeah. And how you deliver the word. Yeah. Whereas in English, it's, it's less like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I think after you get past the subtitles, you just yeah, you just, you just go into yeah. it, really. Yeah. Um, do you think when he was making this film in mind mm-hmm. that he was going to push out into Western audiences, or do you think that he was just doing it like just for South Korea? I don't think he had a in mind the West audience. Mm. Hmm. Mm. No. Didn't seem planned that way. Was yeah. it would have added a bit more western westernness, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the only thing really was like that's spoilers, so I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. <laughs> Whisper my CJ. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Because if it if they thought about the western audience, yeah, they like surely like he could have had like some actor from the west. I get that. It's just that in parts of the film. Yeah they would speak English to each other without actually like, without it being necessary, mm-hmm. you know? And like Korean K-pop songs, they do it a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that kind of just appeals, they try to appeal to everyone, I feel like, you know what I mean? Um, but in this film, they would do it unnecessary, like mm-hmm. okay or Roger that or something like that. <laughs> well, from my experience from Bangladesh, yeah. The upper class, they tend to do that mm-hmm. to sound like more sophisticated. Yeah, they just put English words mm-hmm. like while while they're conversating and stuff. Yeah, instead they just, of just slip it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah just to show possible. your education, you know, yeah. your upper classness and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I guess that that's what he was trying to like, get across. Get across, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. when they are in between themselves, the family, yeah, they just speak in Korean, mm. like the the normal family. I mean. 
Yeah. 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 Which one, yeah. yeah. That might also just be like a thing, like a cultural thing, mm -hmm. because even in other languages as well, like I've been learning Japanese for a while and we sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I've been taught is that a lot of newer words especially tend to just be in English, mm. which is why they have like a third alphabet just for that. Mm. That they use katakana, so like uh personal computer is pasokon. So it's just and that's another thing they tend to shorten words as well. So that could very well just be a thing that's uh part of their culture that again we don't know about because we live here mm -hmm. in England. London. Hey. <laughs> Oh, London is my city. <laughs> University Wait, of Arts London. <laughs> <laughs> Your AL. <laughs> London is my country. Um, yeah. So, what's your rate, CJ? Where you th where you rate this film? Probably give it an eight and a half or a nine. Mm -hmm. I'm very new to <laughs> rating movies. Is very new to me. Especially because yeah. I want to start watching more than just action bullfuckery. Then as much as I like just action say what's your, what are your feelings towards the film? Instead of like giving a number, you know. Mm. I did very much enjoy the movie. Okay. It was a very good movie. I can see why it got nominated for and won Best Picture even. How about you, Chris? Me? Yeah, I I did enjoy the film. There were, I like I didn't. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. I don't really like watching new stuff sometimes mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah, yeah like if i were to go back home i just watch the same stuff over again and over again just mm -hmm. because i know i'm gonna laugh or enjoy that mm -hmm. so it was quite it was a bit weird for me to try and watch something new so when i watched it i really i did get into it and i did make quite a lot of jokes during the film mm -hmm. and like the film is quite funny like, yeah it's quite some, funny yeah, yeah some. some parts are actually quite funny yeah surprisingly mm. You wouldn't expect that. Yeah. It's because yeah. it's not so forced. So it's yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it, I do feel like it is quite surprising if you didn't know nothing about the film, how it could take. A, That's the best way to enjoy turn, the turn. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you know nothing about the film, and you're watching it. You're thinking, oh, this is uh, a rom com. Yeah. Family, yeah. family friendly, like. Yeah. Funny film. Yeah. You know, but then, as it progresses, you're like. Shit, that's dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Takes a turn. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I did enjoy it, and I do agree. Like, I can see why it would be nominated and why it could win. I haven't watched the other films, to be honest, except for Joker. I think that was the only other one that was in Best Picture, right? Was yeah. it in Best Picture? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Ford and Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story. 1917. Once upon a time in Hollywood. That's a lot of films. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah. I a just lot watched yeah, the Joker as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so how would you compare it to Joker? Um, they have some similarities, like social commentary, on yeah, class, and like the system. In yeah. A way. yeah. 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 And they both have like a violent turn mm -hmm. in them. Um, but I think. Joker kind of glosses over the social commentary and it's more about like mental illness yeah mm. and if you watch what is it the king of king of comedy which is a film with uh, robert de niro and martin scorsese yeah it's almost the same really? film yeah <clears throat> i think that's why he was robert de niro was cast as murray Mm -hmm. as oh, an homage to, to that film oh, really? yeah. <laughs> uh, whereas Parasite I, I've never seen anything like Parasite mm -hmm. like the story is just bonkers you know yeah, yeah. it's just crazy yeah. it is crazy and it works. it works yeah I mean it's like yeah. if we were all a family yeah. I get a job yeah, yeah. Right, and I'd be like yo let me recommend you to someone <laughs> no, but, but yeah. I don't understand why they couldn't just be honest like okay maybe don't have to say like um maybe has to say like oh she's accomplished all this other stuff but you can't you just say it's your sister can you not just say that i guess because yeah. he already lied once mm -hmm. then he kept the lie going you know you know yeah. what you say he's in too deep i just yeah. feel like it was like 
the poorer people who just got really greedy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. They just got super greedy. Yeah. Because he could have just like worked his way up and like just Yeah, know. that's what I thought. Yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. He could have just been like that, but then he got his sister involved and I was like, all right. For me at that point, I, I would just keep it at that. Yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah. anyone else involved in yeah, this type yeah. of thing because that's crazy. Mm. Wild. <laughs> yeah. I could see it getting up to like his sister, mm-hmm. but like after that, yeah. it was kind of a. After that was like a bit unnecessary. It's like, okay, now you're really pushing the boundaries. Yeah. Because it's like they had to. I guess we're going into spoilers now, but <laughs> they had to like get other people fired just so they could get their parents in those roles yeah and i was that's when i was like this family's fucking devious what the fuck <laughs> yeah. is happening well because like yeah i mean the the son and the daughter they got jobs by they didn't really have to fire anyone like no one mm-hmm. was no one was a problem for them there was no conflict yeah yeah, yeah. Whereas, just trick the mother. yeah yeah whereas the mom and the dad they got what they got rid of the driver got rid of the the housekeeper mm-hmm. yeah and it was just like obviously when you mess with other people's jobs and stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gonna like affect you somehow by karma yeah. or something like that you know yeah. I like when they're, they're all drunk and thinking the father is thinking about the driver he's like oh he's probably alright yeah, you know yeah. he's, he's young and stuff and then right away they get the, the call from uh, the, the interphone oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah and the woman comes in and she's like oh like ruined yeah uh, yeah what happened to her? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, she got jumped. <laughs> yeah, well, because what? Um, her husband took some money, like loan, well, yeah, took a loan like out, loan and then the loan, loan shocks loan. probably, yeah, yeah, got to her, unfortunately. Thank God her, damn it. Yeah. But I don't understand why they didn't, like, you would think that they would help each other out in a way, if that makes sense, you yeah. know? But they turned on each other so quickly when... Mm things got bad I guess because when money's on the line everyone like it's gonna talk money money's the root of all evil in it so people Love's are money yeah. yeah it's quite sad but yeah how did you guys take the turn on the bunker the bunker yeah absolutely <laughs> that's what I was like oh so this is a completely different movie yeah okay. yeah. Like, oh, yeah it's just like yeah let me go let me go get my uh, something from the basement yeah I was like oh, yeah sure yeah, well, yeah whatever yeah no yeah. big deal yeah. she's gone for like 20 minutes and yeah. all you see is her stuck like that yeah. and, you're just, <laughs> and you're just like what <laughs> what is this woman doing yeah but um, I don't know like I mean, do you think that's possible? Like, as in, for you to own a house mm-hmm. and to not know that there is a monk there? I think so. You yeah, think so? yeah. Because they weren't the first people to live there, so, like, the guy before them probably knew, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, you know, he definitely knew because he, apparently he designed the house and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But to, like, I don't know, I just feel like you would... I mean, you don't a... check every wall after you buy a house. Yeah, like, oh, I would... check all the walls for secret compartments. I wouldn't. Yeah. It depends. A big house like that, I would. <laughs> You're going I mean, I would. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would... they didn't that's... change the furniture. I guess. Yeah. So yeah, but I mean, that's, that's, that's fucking, good. that's bat, That's a Korean Batman's house, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's Bruce Wayne's house, you know what I mean? Like, it's... This dude's going in town mm. getting into blueprints for the <laughs> Maybe they check the normal house mm-hmm. and they yeah. just said, uh, like, you know, it's a basement. It's like, yeah. Who gives a mm. shit, you know? I guess it's kind of like what they said in the film at one point. I think they said it in the film. Maybe I was imagining it. Mm-hmm. Something oh, about, like, how... Classic Liam. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I think the dad was saying something about how like perception is reality basically it's like they just looked at the house obviously so they weren't gonna like mm. go really deep and be like let me push back this big old shelf here <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> plus I think a lot of old house not old house but a lot of like houses have like like hidden areas mm-hmm. mm. maybe yours does no no we can go check in there what's yeah. your favourite scene favourite scene yeah. has to be this uh, <laughs> sorry, full spoiler. Now. Yeah, full go. spoiler. Favorite scene. Um, shit, I don't know. Anyone else want to say theirs first? I actually, I need to think about this more. I longer. got this. The sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone yeah, has to say that. Right. I'm a big fan of any time someone says, "Yeah, buy me those." <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I found it funny. Yeah, yeah. it was like, oh, that's the most transgressive thing they can think. Yeah, of. because obviously it was such a tense moment during the film, innit? Like yeah. everyone's yeah. hiding. Yeah. yeah, and then they could have played it more tensely by. Um, was it like just doing more crazy stuff yeah. but then they yeah. started going into that and you're just like you know what that's actually pretty funny <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. that's pretty realistic it's like yeah. you know yeah they, Look, they it's do that. because yeah. it's normal isn't it yeah. like well, well I don't know I don't think I'd ever tell my wife hey have you still got those old panties from the, from the car <laughs> 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 yeah but I mean it's like I guess it's thinking about like really taboo type of stuff mm. you know mm. stuff mm. that you would never do yeah and you're just like shit. That kind of turns me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. Especially if you're like rich and yeah. Like, wealthy. Yeah. It's like a shit Christian Grey. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't get uh, me started on that movie. <laughs> okay, so your favorite scene was the sex scene. Of course. Yeah. What was yours, Deepa? My favorite scene is when the wife is talking about their son eating the cake. Yes. Yeah. And then there's like the weird transition to the fridge you know yeah, yeah there's yeah. a cake on the floor then there's a kid and then the kid looks <laughs> yeah. and he sees the guy yeah with just two eyes two eyes <laughs> like that i'm like damn that, that that that's a good like that that's piece that's a good piece of cinematography mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. yeah did you see that coming that 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 the uh the husband was like part of the traumatic event that the kid went through no not at all no i was like you know he just saw a ghost or yeah. something. Yeah. And he said, it turns out it was the guy in yeah. the basement. Like, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like if we really, really, like, thought about it, then we probably could have found out about it once we found out that there was a basement and then, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just when you're watching this type of film, you just, you know, go through it and you're just like, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Fucking kid looking at some guy and he's like, yeah, shit. Yeah. What about you, CJ? Your favorite uh, scene from the film or part? Uh,. I think my favorite scene, just in like terms of how convoluted was like the whole plan to push out the driver and the housekeeper to replace him with uh, mother and father. Because mm. at first it was simple. My friend recommended me for this job because I know English. I'll teach your daughter English. Oh, hey, uh, your son likes art. I know someone who's a good art teacher. That was easy. Then it's like, all right, now I'm going to take off my underwear <laughs> and hide it in the car to frame the driver as a fucking sex pest. And then <laughs> and then it turned into f- basically full-scale chemical warfare. Just <laughs> to try- It's like, okay, we got some peach dust that I'm going to yeah, put in yeah, this vial yeah. <laughs> just to fucking pretend that she has... The housekeeper has tuberculosis for some fucking reason. Yeah. And... Oh, we're go- I've got this sauce packet and I'm going to spread it on this tissue. It looks oh, like that was, like, <laughs> that was an amazing scene. Yeah. <laughs> that was an amazing scene. The whole, um, oh, what, what is it called? The whole bit of them. Mm-hmm. Of like deceiving and yeah, like, you yeah. know, doing yeah. the plan to get yeah. the groundskeeper out. That yeah. was so funny. Yeah. Because obviously, like, if I put ketchup <laughs> on a tissue, right? <laughs> Even from here, you can tell that's ketchup, isn't it? You know what I mean? They got hot sauce. It's more liquid. Oh, it was yeah. hot sauce. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I mean, it's just... It's and the face ridiculous. it makes, like... <laughs> she's dead. And then when she's like, did you wash your hands? And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he looking up, he's looking up at the sky like, shit. Uh. <laughs> I kind of wish he'd been like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like the dad. Yeah. Yeah. The dad mm-hmm. is I think he is he's the guy that stands out for me. Really? Yeah. Wait, which dad? The um, the, uh, the poor, poor family, family dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. He really sold. He's always on that line, you know, how they say in the film. Oh yeah. 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 He's on the line of like But he never crosses it. Yeah. yeah. But he's always like so close. Yeah, yeah. Just a tip. Yeah, he's <laughs> so close on like breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Like he's almost winking at times. Mm-hmm. Like in this in that scene when he like takes the yeah. tissue out, he's like, "Come on!" <laughs> <laughs> Can't be that gullible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I did. I think he was pretty great in the film. Um, I think my one of my favorite scenes is probably when they were talking about how he smelled, how he smelled, yeah. right? Yeah. And you can just see the shame and like 
it makes you feel bad. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. he looked really embarrassed and shameful. Yeah. You know, like if it. It like, reminded him that he's poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his kids, they kind of just brushed it off. You know, yeah. they didn't really say anything to the dad. Like, oh no, like who cares? Yeah. But hearing that from like two people that you work for, it's just, yeah, it's quite yeah. hard to yeah. take, isn't it? It's your pride real hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think kind of like with the thing with the the mum where she was like, oh, when dad comes, it's like cockroach. He runs off. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I was joking, but it's like you can tell a little bit that. He, he, he I think it was him. like. It was a seed of something yeah. for later, you know, mm-hmm. to show that he still has some pride left yeah, inside yeah, yeah, of yeah. him. That is true. Yeah, like what she said. If he came, if you old, if the boss oh, came in yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. you just run away or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "What are you fucking saying to me? Fucking what, mate? But do I look like a dickhead?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I think he did really great in the film. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Shouts to Will Silver. Her, his big fan. He was a big fan of uh, Jessica and the film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His favorite scene was any scene with Jessica. <laughs> he suspiciously went behind the curtain when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but I love you. <laughs> uh, should we go through the whole plot, like? And see. I don't mind. Sure. Maybe we should have done that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right it's all right this is a shit version of friends <laughs> this is episode zero you know yeah. test so the film starts with this film uh, his family his family the main guy uh what's his korean name i don't know let me whip it up I, I don't remember his Korean. He's Kevin for the rest yes of the let's film. just call him kevin kevin for the rest of the film let's just call him kevin. Kevin. yeah he's got a friend named min yes his upper class friend they met, they were friends in uh, college. Yeah, the computer, we can spell it on the screen. Like. Yeah. Well, nah, uh, they met yeah. in college and they were like friends. Yes. And his friend went on into university whereas, where he failed his test. Actually, they met during the military service. That's when they met. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Is that what Yeah, they didn't mention that he was yeah. uh, well, like, like I remember service. him saying military service. I didn't. I guess See the military him. service is the only way for the classes to meet. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. it's mandatory over there. Yeah. It's like, what, two years, I believe? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think Son uh, avoided, got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> avoided, avoided that, it. Because yeah. of his That's contribution nice. in uh, sports, really. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's like a thing if you like. I swear I read it somewhere, I can't remember. It was like, if you get into like, for football wise, if you get into like the Korean national team and. Advance to any competition. Yeah, you qualify. Yeah, yeah. You yeah then you don't have to do it. Yeah. I mean, you did kind of a service to your country, kind of. True. Mm. But he's a, he's almost like a cultural icon now. Him. Yeah. Like, well, it's crazy because some K-pop idols, right? They are really famous. They mm. do a lot for Korea, mm-hmm. but yet they still have to go through like uh, military service. Oh, like did some big bang. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of them went and yet they've like really big I'm assuming BTS like imagine if Big Bang went but BTS doesn't go you know what I mean don't you think that would be quite crazy I guess because BTS are bigger and they have a more western grab and hold mm. kind of like Blackpink mm. as well so. I mean the guy went to uh, UN did a speech at UN yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely mad lad. yeah and basically Min says to Kevin to substitute him in tutoring yes. uh, the daughter of a wealthy family. Yes, yeah? because his English is so good, mm-hmm. apparently. But well, they also said, what, he took like four entrance exams or something yeah. like that? Yeah. And that's what made him Implying like, that he didn't pass. Yeah. 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 But I don't understand how that relates to good English. I don't you mean, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, he he, maybe it's he something, took four entrance exams. He didn't pass. Maybe it's something culturally mm-hmm. that we are not aware of. Mm-hmm. Like, he maybe he passed the... Maybe it could be made by more parts. Yeah. And he always nailed the English part. But he always failed the other part, parts, you know? I don't know. Sorry. Okay, his bag. Oh, you want your bag? Yeah. Sorry, CJ wants his bag. <laughs> <laughs> this dude... Oh. Yeah, I think maybe though. But maybe he got like, well, he didn't, he quit, didn't he? Quit, what? 
No, I, hit, I think it didn't go through. Oh, you didn't go through? Too? Yeah, because yeah. it sounded like yeah. you just... Because he know. says to his dad, like... I like, I want to do this yeah. for the future. I yeah. will get into university for the future. Yeah. So it sounded like he just failed each time. Ah. Yeah. Wait, we're talking about... The, um, entrance Kevin. exams, yes. Mm. Kevin's entrance exams. So what happened to Min? Did Min get, Min get, he didn't get fired, did he? he no, just, no, Min he just went just abroad. He went abroad. abroad. Yeah. 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 Maybe they told him to leave because maybe he has a thing with the door. Who knows? No, no but he sounded, went abroad. No, be, oh, well. because the mum... <laughs> Yeah, if yeah. you remember, yeah. the mum in the film was like, "Yeah, we love Min. Yeah. Min is the best. Yeah. And if you don't do a job, a good as job as Min, then yeah. you're there's gone. no point. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no point of having you. Yeah. Hey, that's how they keep up appearances, you know. <laughs> so I my door, I'd be like, "Yeah, they're great, innit?" <laughs> <laughs> the other reason he uh, they gave for the Min gave for Kevin to take over was because he was the only one he trusted. It's like. I'm not gonna let any my fucking college frat friends take over. I want you because I know I can trust you. Yeah, because he Which, likes this girl yeah, that he's yeah. tutoring and he, he said, wants to go out with her yeah, he when said, she goes into university. Yeah, I'll ask her out when she goes into <laughs> university. I saw it as well as he's not a menace to Min's like relationship with the daughter. Mm-hmm. Like because he's like kind of poor and all of that. Yes. And Min considered him like lesser than him. Yeah, I get that. So it's, yeah, it's funny how he didn't mention any of these things. Yeah, yeah. yeah which, yeah. to be honest with you, when I was watching that scene, I yeah. thought he would mention something like yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know, I'm helping you out here, or yeah. like, you know, I just want to help you better your situation. But he didn't say any of those mm. things, which I respected. Yeah, yeah. But it also could just mean that it's implied, He's secretly yeah. thinking these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, because you can see by the way he enters his house. Yeah. It's like he's not knocking, he's yeah. not doing anything, he just walks in. Yeah. You know, he's disgusted by the floor. Yeah. Because they walk bare, hand, bare feet. So do you think that he's been to that house frequently? Or was it just like that one time? I think that they were like close friends because he wouldn't yeah. ask someone like... Yeah. That you saw once in the military. Yeah. Yeah. True. And yeah, so then Kevin goes into the house gets the job yes and talks with the mom which is described as simple minded yeah yeah very gullible very simple yeah to, to be fair that tissue scene kind of kind of proved that <laughs> <laughs> and she tell oh yeah he sees the, the paintings yes of the son mm. uh, the rich family has a daughter and a young son, a child, like, what is it, like, seven, eight? Eight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And... That the song his name was? The song, yeah. Yeah, that song, song. Yeah. yeah. And the mother is convinced that the son might have a future in art, as an artist. Mm. And he brings it up to Kevin, <laughs> who then ties his sister into the whole uh, con. Yeah. Yeah. I did love that scene though. <laughs> yeah. So the, <laughs> the stuff that he was drawing, right? Yeah. Do you think he was drawing the traumatic event? Like, do you think he was drawing the guy from the basement? Oh, I never thought of that. I think he, he was. Point. Yeah, he might be actually. Because yeah. it looked like he was just drawing that over and over again. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, just different is. colors, but definitely yeah. the same I type think of was, figure. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Does that dark shade hell one as well? Yeah. Like, yeah. In the yeah. basement. And he yeah. looked like a monkey, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? He looked like a monkey. Chimpanzee. That's yeah. a portrait. <laughs> and that's how the guy the in the basement moves as well. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. did move like. Like the first unorthodox. time. Unorthodox. Yeah. 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 The first time he was like on his fours going mm -hmm. up the stairs. And he and it was symbolized when he was eating a banana as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Right? laughs> that's true. That's true. When, like he didn't eat a banana like how normal people would eat a banana. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we'd peel it, we'd eat it bit by bit, but he went like straight down Deep for it. Deep throat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why he didn't gag. He's got no gag reflex. You know? Well, the oh. man was there without food for like like a, a week or something. Yeah. yeah, 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 for a while. But still, swallowing it whole though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to see it, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> uh, wait, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he brings the uh, his sister, uh, Jessica. Yes. Saying that he she is from 
um, uh, like she graduated Illinois. Yeah. from Chicago, Chicago Illinois. Illinois yeah. Her uh, cousin's classmate, something like that. Yeah. 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 And um, you know what I like in that scene is the smile he does, like the evil smile he yeah. does. It's like, oh shit, I can do, I can calm them more. Yeah. yeah. I can get more money out of this. It's like, like it oh. must be like really quick thinking to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just be like, oh, I need an art teacher. Oh, oh, uh, my sister. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my. Uh... <laughs> I like how they set up the scene though, when mm. she's like doing the Photoshop for yeah. his mm. things and stuff. Like they yeah. they yeah. praise her. Yeah. As as an artist. As stuff. like a con artist yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> as a con artist. <laughs> so and she she was the best one as conning the, the yeah. family. Yeah. I felt so, like she had the most. Like she was the most gifted, mm. yeah. You know, yeah. It's like her artistic talents don't come from nowhere. We've seen it like before, yeah. yeah. And then it comes into play later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just good at like pretending to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. she's good at bullshit as well. Yeah, I was surprised when she was able to discipline the son. Yeah. Yes, I felt it was like it's kind of weird because obviously, I felt like in the beginning of the film it was quite established that the brother doesn't have that much confidence in himself mm. and he's not like gung-ho like oh I'm gonna take action whereas the sister is mm. but then when he went to choose her the girl mm. you remember when he started touching her wrist I felt yeah. like that was so confident yeah and I was like whoa I've never Who's seen that before yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but then I don't know if we see it again during the film well I think going back to the first uh, scene where yeah. Min comes in yeah uh, he'll um shouts at a man that is peeing <laughs> in front of the house where yeah. the protagonist's family is living, yes, which is so. a basement. And he shouts to this man and the father of Kevin is like, oh, he's like a university student. He got vigor in him, you know? Yeah. He got yeah. the fire. Yeah. And he's like, you don't have it. Like, yeah. Implied that his son doesn't have that. Yeah, it does. You know? It's not the same. Yeah. yeah. And then we have a mirror scene when that happens again. Yeah. And this time, Kevin is trying to get the man out. Yes. And he wants to throw a rock <laughs> yeah. at the man. Oh, yes, yes, yeah? yes. Lunatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he ends up like throwing water to him. They yeah. make a, a funny scene out of it. Yes. A lighthearted scene. Mm. But that's the difference between him and Min, I guess. Yeah. Mm. You know? Whereas Min was just shouting at the guy and the guy just left. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't have the same presence yeah yes. because obviously like I feel like you know he because he's min, conning yeah, yeah he's his, conning his yeah. friend he showed that like look I'm the guy here yeah. I'm the one I'm the alpha male here yeah. you gotta do what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas he's his present the, um, the protagonist he's a presence. parasite yeah yeah, yeah exactly. it's just like yeah. and he does the same thing with the with the daughter mm -hmm. he's touching the wrist right yeah and he says vigor to her yeah which is the same thing that his father yeah. Says about Min. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I think he was trying to copy Min. Yes. To be able to get the job. Yeah. I mean, f uh, later on in the film, it's quite established that this guy really wants to think like Min. Mm. When he was just like, oh, I wondered what Min would do in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. And then the sister's like, Min would never be in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Min would not be walking in fucking sewage water mm. up to his fucking knees, you know what I mean? And then yeah, I just found that quite interesting when he, when they were talking about that. Mm. Yeah. I was gonna say this maybe this movie just weirdly had a mix between Joker and Get Out for me, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So, I get what maybe. you're saying, yeah. 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 I wish Daniel Kaluuya came out of nowhere. Just, just, just <laughs> like that uh, career. Uh, so um, we were. What were we? Where were we? Oh, the, the sister. The sister gets the job. Yeah, disciplines the son. Yeah, you wanna keep going from there? I don't remember it. You watched it twice. That's <laughs> <laughs> a project. Right <laughs> after then was when. There you go. Uh, the driver was gonna take her home. Oh and yeah, yeah. She was like, uh, "Just drop me off at the station." Oh, it's uh really late. Let me take you home. It's like he was trying to move to her. It's like, yeah, my boyfriend's waiting for me at the station. She said the station, the station, to keep the appearance that yeah. she wasn't living in the basement. Yes. Yeah. Do and, you yeah. think that he kept asking to take her home because, like, uh, the uh, like the rich family wanted to know more about her? 
like wanted to see where she actually lived you know or do you think it was just like oh this guy's just trying to be chivalrous he just wants to take her home like I think he just wants to clap cheeks yeah (laughs) when he said it the first time I was like he's just being like yeah like that's just normal yeah Yeah. like I would do the same yeah Yeah. and then said like she said take me to the station instead yeah Yeah. I'm like alright and then he insists yeah that's when I was like hold on this guy (laughs) yeah there's something wrong (laughs) about this guy not necessarily wrong but you know he's he's starting to pull Mm -hmm. starting to pull yeah (laughs) I understand I just feel like like in any I do feel like in any normal situation if it was me in that situation Mm. I would ask more than once just because like when you ask once most of the time that person is going to say no anyway Mm -hmm. because they're shy and they don't want to (coughs) like take advantage or anything like that you know Mm. so I would ask twice Mm -hmm. maybe not three times (laughs) getting a bit pushy rather yeah Yeah. I think he did three yeah he did about three times I would just be like are you sure you know just like it's quite bad outside or it's dangerous or something also he like said that. I'm off work you know oh he said I'm off work mm-hmm. I'm free for the rest of the night or something like that yeah. he said I got time I can take you as far as you want oh yeah yeah I remember that. Yeah. you guys got game yeah <coughs> not as much game as uh, uh, what's his name Kevin yeah <laughs> <laughs> jeez uh, take notes CJ take those letting notes <laughs> so the daughter plants her underwear yes which is very unsettling as well yeah because so far it was kind of PG you know, yeah that is like oh they're, they're like conning a rich family yeah they're goofballs and stuff <clears throat> and then she takes off her panties like, like alright like nothing yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and puts them underneath yeah. a seat mm. yeah and do you think that when she did it mm-hmm. she had in mind that they would think that, oh he's sleeping with a woman that's like taking drugs or something like that probably no. because they because like they went straight to drugs you know yeah. and she was just and if it was me I'd just be like no I just want you to think that this guy's sleeping with someone in your car see for me it was weird I don't know maybe it's a cultural difference but I would have thought like I know obviously her I thought it was a prostitute <laughs> yeah <laughs> I thought that was the, the implied mm-hmm. thing I thought they were implying that the dad was sleeping with someone in his car that was yeah. my first thought as yeah well. I get that they you just know. brought him in the house just yeah. brought a pair of random underwear in the house being like look what I found <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's something in the west we will think instantly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but not in, in the east you know yes I guess but, it's kind of like it's more I was going to say more shameful in a way because we've seen that type of scenes more often here where you know someone puts underwear in a car to frame the husband yeah. you know <coughs> like the driver gets always overlooked you know yeah 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 it's like who, who gives a shit about the driver you know it's kind of weird though it's because I guess it was, it was his car wasn't it yeah it is his car yeah so it's kind of weird to assume yeah it is his car but the guy says I can take you wherever you want mm. implying that he takes the car as, at home yeah. and comes back yeah, mm-hmm. didn't the, the the poor the poor dad didn't he like buy a car just so he could be a driver? No, 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 no. He was just, just trying. Just, to, just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he was Testing learning. Drive, yeah. Just driving it so that he can know how a Mercedes works. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Mercedes, yeah. our, our sponsor for today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get the name said said a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't don't even say car. Yeah. like get the Mercedes out. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're all driving Mercedes by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a product placement. Yeah. So yeah, this podcast is sponsored by cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and nails, you know. We love them nails. <laughs> <laughs> Just nails. ask one of us where we get it from and then we'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Fingernails, toenails, <laughs> eye nails. <laughs> So they get the drivers, the driver fired. Yes, yeah. they get the driver fired. Yeah, and then the dad is recommended by the was it the daughter, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. by the daughter, right? Yeah, she said it was his her uncle's coworker or something. Something like that. Like that yeah, yeah. they just like oh, I call him uncle. Uh. I really like the dialogues there because the the wife. The rich wife, she's like, oh, it's like a chain. Yeah, you know, a chain of trust. A chain yeah. of trust. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you as, as the viewer are like oh shit yeah. <laughs> but uh, to be honest I kind of get what she's saying because it's like you you trust this some, you trust yeah. someone and they recommend someone that they obviously trust yeah yeah and it's just like yeah why wouldn't that be a bad thing yeah. but it is also a chain of lies yeah yeah, you know? yeah of course yeah, yeah 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 and they're like uh bringing in everyone yeah. through a chain as well yeah. so it's like you know they're all bounded together yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it does make sense that line of thought that she had because they obviously trusted uh, Min, Min before yeah. so they're like well we're pretty much bringing you in because of Min's rep, uh, recommendation, recommendation. Yeah. <clears throat> so Min trusted shit, Kevin yeah. Yeah. yeah so they see that Kevin's actually good so like huh Min was right so then he recommends someone it's like you know what Min trusts you and we've seen we like what we see so I'm gonna trust you as well and then they like what they see with uh, Jessica yeah. and then so on and so forth well you forget that she trusts Kevin after one lesson yeah that, <laughs> yeah, that is true that is true I wish we don't know what she's like I mean I think she, I mean when uh, he in the scene where he started teaching the first lesson and yeah. he grabbed the daughter's hand yeah she was like quite shocked by that wasn't yeah. she she was just she was about to step up and throw hands <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 you know but like then, what are you doing yeah. with my daughter yeah and then she's like and then he was just like oh yeah you gotta have some vigor you gotta like you know dominate yeah you gotta be test. determined you yeah. gotta do it Drive you don't. Enough. yeah it was very sexual <laughs> I think yeah. like the way he was saying to her mm-hmm. and stuff is like and the way he just touched to, her wrist yeah you have to ride the the test like yeah all right mm. um so they bring the dad in yes as a driver uh, the dad had no experience as a driver. He was a valet. And oh, yeah, yeah. in that scene where they're eating at a cafeteria or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dad goes through all the jobs he did mm-hmm. before they end up in the basement. Yeah. Implying that they weren't always... Like this. Like this, yeah. Which they did kind of like hint to as well at the start with the uh, picture of the mum who used to be like a shot put yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Olympics. Yeah, and she yeah. won like silver, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like a prized possession of theirs. Mm-hmm. So much so that when the house flooded, that was one of the things the dad took was yeah. the yeah. medal and the picture. Yeah, yeah. And I like how at the beginning of the film, the house is so dirty. Yeah, it's like very, very dirty. And at the end, when there's only the mom and the son, it's like spotless. Yeah, yeah. it seems like another house. Obviously. Yeah. I, to be honest, I thought they moved out, and yeah. I thought they moved out and lived somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were still in there. Yeah. But this time they had their windows closed, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this film had some like, not not off topic, slightly off topic, but like the tension in this movie was weird. It was like, yeah. I guess as a as a like, well, we not Western audience, mm-hmm. as a Western audience goer, like we're so used to something very specific when it comes to tension, mm. music, yeah. yeah, like weird little like hints like camera movements and stuff but this was like tension built up just progressively by different things like yeah. adding mm. people to this chain of trust yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean this film felt so raw yeah. Yeah. in, this, in yeah. a media sense where yeah. it was just like I mean at the end towards the like the ending is yeah. the raw like, yeah. <laughs> like they just leave it straight to how like how the actors would just you know perform yeah. mm-hmm. and there was hardly any other music that you'd be like oh shit that's helping it build up tension and whatnot mm-hmm. yeah and so I thought it was pretty cool to do something like that. Mm-hmm. And what I really liked was the scene where the house was flooding. Yeah. And then the to- uh, the sister just went for a smoke. Yeah. On top of the I toilet. really liked that scene yeah. as well. Because it was just like, even though this is all bad that's happening, she's probably still thinking about like what happened in the basement. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? She's just like, she's so... Like, she's she was the one that was, yeah, that was most... Shocked, yeah, by the whole I, thing. I, like affected. Also, yeah. the brother was affected as well. To be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that in a weird way too. That scene, I was like, I think it was just sort of like you know how the ship, the ship was coming out. So I was thinking like, shit hit the fan, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like just like, that scene was also comical because <coughs> sewers don't work like that, you know. Yeah, but you still think about the characters. Yeah, even though the whole situation is like not realistic at all, mm. it's like it's not possible. Yeah. But you still believe it because that it's getting all fucked yeah like the leading up is everything is going bad yeah. it's just going downwards it's like I guess it is a class thing too obviously it's like the like the one was like throwing up in the toilet and then it just like we saw was that like the shot they cut to it like the shit coming out the toilet yeah <laughs> the, it's like the upper class are like shitting on the lower class as always mm-hmm. 
and, and, and to get to their house as well they just go down and down <laughs> yeah. and down yeah. and down yeah. It's yeah also like the dude in the basement when he was like doing the lights I was thinking like wow it's just another case of like a more physical representation of the working class like the rich are living on the backs of the working class so he lives in the basement he's yeah. powering the lights and stuff and it's just like no recognition and he's so care. grateful as well yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that hit me it was like this guy lives in the basement like and he's so grateful to this other guy he never met yeah, yeah. never met mm. don't know each other yeah right but it's just pretty much word of mouth really <laughs> yeah. isn't it and it's just like oh yeah I'd do anything for this guy yeah 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 kind of kinky. on his dying words he's just like what do you say in his dying words like he says respect oh yeah <laughs> And it's just like, what? <laughs> and the first thing he did was flip him over and hold him. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. It was all kind of a weird kink for me. For me, like it was almost like he was saying spit in my mouth, daddy. It was like, <laughs> it's too great, <laughs> way too great. <clears throat> so we were. Oh yeah. So the dad gets the job. Oh, he said he was telling the family about what happened before. Yes. A small backstory, and he said they had. A cake shop or a small and then a small like restaurant yeah and all of them failed and he did a valet job for a while yeah and then he just got unemployed and it becomes important when they go into the basement and they found the guy in the basement yeah and he had a similar story yeah mm. he said like um, he took a loan out f- yeah for his cake shop that his dad did the same thing yeah but i guess he didn't took a loan or anything he just lost yeah, all his yeah. money and he did the restaurant as well yeah they both they had a similar story that's why i didn't understand mm. why they became hostile to one another mm. you yes. know well the mother i think she was just trying to get them out yeah of the basement no I, yeah i mean i get that but then like it, it then it became into blackmail yeah. straight away you know oh when they f- fell in the yeah, yeah. in front of the others yeah it just came straight into blackmail mm-hmm. and then everyone stopped understanding each other and started to like get over each other yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and I was like fuck I mean that is kind of real though I, yeah. if you're like that poor like yeah. in that like extreme situation yeah where you have no options like you take every chances you get yeah it's like a variation of fight or flight it's like you're gonna like you're gonna throw hands you know to try and survive and I'm like yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck them guys you know? like, <laughs> this, is, this is my money which is what Jessica was saying as well yeah. like right mm. before the whole shit but then like happened. but then at the end of the, during, near the end of the film mm. she's like yeah we should come to an agreement an arrangement mm-hmm. you know and I was like yeah that is what you guys should have been doing beforehand you know before it became this big mess mm-hmm. they all could have got along real nice if they just yeah, they could have just fin- kept finessing this family, yeah. Yeah. right? I'm not saying you should do that, but yeah. I mean, like, they could have just kept finessing this family. Because yeah. the wife says as well that they're doing very well. They're being they becoming richer. Yeah. So they did they did not feel bad. Yeah. On getting all this money out of them. Yeah. Mm. I guess as well, it's like just a general thing as well, like this social status is like the poor never really work together to try and get ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. All holding each other down, just trying to get at the top, you know. Yeah. That's the climbing problem. each other. Yeah. That's the problem, really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah fuck you, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the dad gets in the family. He becomes the driver. Yes. Um. Next thing they do is to get. They get try to get rid of the old housekeeper. Yeah. The housekeeper. Though. The housekeeper, which is a woman in. Their fifties, forties, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Who, you wouldn't know is married beforehand. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know anything about her story yeah. except for that she has been there since it's like the house was built. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And she lives there as well. Mm. Yeah, hard. she lives yeah. there as well. And you only know that she has a peach allergy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Which I miss somehow. <laughs> yeah, the daughter says to Kevin, she's like, I really like peaches. Uh, the, but yeah, oh, yeah. she's yeah. allergic but so it's like it. yeah. taboo in the house yeah. yeah and Kevin's like why the hell is it taboo it's yeah. just a peach bro I was on feed me a peach like that before you <laughs> 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 seductive <honey>. yeah it's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that whole scene where they the montage of them 
conning. Yes. Yeah. Like, Groundskeeping. Yeah, trying to get, like, saying the whole plan is a yeah. motion and whatnot. It felt a bit like Ocean's Eleven. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, something like that. Where they, they they do the planning and then yeah. they put together all the pieces. It kind of made me think about that Rick and Morty episode, which is parodying it, though. Oh, yeah, the parody is all the uh, heist movies, yeah. It was kind of a heist. Kind of, well, they heisted her job. They heisted life, you know? Yeah. And he shaves a peach. Yeah. He puts the... What's like it the particles or you know just like the the fur, yeah. the fur of yeah. the peach the in the fuzz. I thought he was going to plant it and make it look like coke or something yeah <laughs> he makes it so convoluted because he puts them in the pants cap yeah. yeah and then he walks by her and just dashes it on dashes her dashes on her yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, it, and they it. time it with the dad's arriving not the dad the wife's arriving. oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 the time it so when the wife comes in she sees the groundskeeper coughing. Yeah. yeah. Like the almost comedic music yeah. that happened during that scene yeah. too. Like he's going over to the bin as well with the music playing in it. All while the poor dad is conning the mum <laughs> with a script. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so like breaking as well. It's yeah. like, dad, you're, you're up here. You have to bring yeah. it down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah. yeah. That was really funny. And the dad, he's trying... He, he he memorized the script where he tells this story about the groundskeeper having tuberculosis. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is taboo in K- Korea. I guess it was. Well, I mean, I think it's because, like, what, the kid is so young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The kid and she's touching everything young. around and the kid. And, like, mm. I don't know. I'm assuming maybe, maybe they didn't vaccinate the kids. <laughs> or so. Isn't, like... Uh, sexually transmitted or through no no it's like tuberculosis is like uh, blood like, that's an old plague style like illnesses right there like you can like just sneeze it's like um, like sneezes um, oh really yeah that's like, how you transmit yeah yeah oh shit alright that makes sense you used to be around or like just it. someone like spit like coughing on you as well you say spit in their mouth on yeah you. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> because by me drugs because um, <laughs> <laughs> because in uh Spoilers, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh. You play it? No. Oh, fuck. Go for it. <laughs> okay, well, Red Dead Redemption 2. Wait, wait, Diva, you play it? <laughs> no. It's alright, it's alright. No, it's <laughs> fine, it's fine. Alright, well, something happens in Red Dead Redemption 2 that is related to tuberculosis. Alright. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that's like, I found out that it's quite common. Actually, it's actually quite common back then, anyway. Mm. Before vaccinations and all Yeah. Mm. And it's. Easier to fight off now, actually. I think. Yeah. Everybody else, they're like. You'll shot. think. Yeah. Mm. Unless you don't get vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to you, anti-vaxxers. <laughs> <laughs> so the mom gets convinced that the groundskeeper has TB. Yep. And they fire the groundskeeper. And you don't make much out of it. It's like, oh, another person that gets fired. You know, like the driver. Yeah. She got fired and they bring in the mum. Yeah. Uh, you get this another scene where you can see the mum interacting with her family members. Yes. In front of the owners of the house. Yeah. yeah. Trying to like I don't know, like touch them like playfully, like yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. you would for your sons or your daughters yeah, or yeah, your family yeah. members. And after like, that what they do? Oh, the camping, camping yes they yeah. said they're gonna go camping yeah they're gonna go camping and they're gonna leave the house to the groundskeeper for a few days yeah it's not established how, how long yeah but I assume it's like a few well days. if it's camping I presume like a couple days yeah. Yeah. yeah so she brings in the whole family to stay there big mistake big man. <laughs> <laughs> that's when uh, I started thinking like you know, that's a bit too much. Yes. Yeah, we got too confident. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit too much, you know. Drinking their whiskey, yeah. you know, smashing their glasses. Yeah. It's like, you're living what dangerously. You yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? you're, you're already walking on a fine yeah. line, yeah. you know? Like, I don't know, they acted like, because in that scene, they acted like they owned the house. Yeah. You know? And if it was me which I hope I'd never be in that type of situation, mm-hmm. I wouldn't... I'd, I'd tread very carefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I had that many people around, I'll still tread very carefully. Same. You know? Yeah. We all hang out in one room together or something like that. 
you know, uh, we have to bring our own food and our own stuff that we're going to use, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, it just, it's too dodgy. It's yeah, too yeah, yeah, messed yeah, yeah. up. Let's plan it, boy. So next week, guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wins house, yeah. <laughs> That's the secret, though, to any grift. As a great man once said, the secret to any grift is just not having too many chains in the link. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They had way too many chains. Like, when it was two of them, it probably would have been sustainable anyway because they were getting paid quite a bit. Mm. Yeah, that's when you feel like this feels wrong. Yeah. yeah. Like, you sympathize with them when they're like really poor and yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. own anything. They're, um, they're looking for Wi Fi and trying yeah. to get free Wi Fi everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the only jobs they get is like uh, uh, what's folding, it? folding, folding boxes. boxes, pizza, yeah, boxes. pizza boxes. Yeah. And, and looking at where their toilet was as well. <laughs> that was quite shocking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that you would have a toilet in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like symbolic that they even, they're below the shit. <laughs> it was just messed up. Um, uh, from uh, in Bangladesh, like architecture is quite shitty. Like people build houses like in every way possible. Mm -hmm. So there's no like real forethought about where to put stuff. Yeah. So and especially in old cities, like the city goes up, you know. Yeah. The the streets get gets like new, um, what you call new asphalt on top of the old asphalt oh, yeah. you know yeah so you can see like houses sinking Jeez. slowly and i've been to one of my cousin's house i'm like i'm related to this person i couldn't believe that Cause, <laughs> <laughs> i swear because i've never been to their house yeah. the only time we met is uh our, our grand's house yeah which is in a village like so it's like everyone lives in in the village in different rooms. Yeah, yeah. And we're like in a playing field and stuff like that. Yeah. But in the city, in the capital, and mm -hmm. uh, so they were living in the capital, uh, quite near like the main city. But it was like a slum type of area. Yeah. And they lived in. So first of all, there's a main road, which is like normal height, you say. Yeah. And then there's a slope, goes towards the the houses and stuff. And it keeps going down and down, like like the house uh, of the fail. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps going down, and there are a lot of houses that are like half level with the street. Okay. And then you have to go down to enter the house. And you think how how that happened? Like yeah, you would realize that your house is like not. On the level, yeah, like how it, yeah, like, yeah, how that happened, yeah. not how it should be, really, yeah. safely was, anyway. Yeah. yeah, so that wasn't a basement from the beginning. Yeah, it just sunk underneath the rest of the city. Like I the see, city yeah. kept progressing. Yeah, you know how they find like old stuff of cities of a bygone era. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. which is underneath, um, like a, soil and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's what happens to in like normal cities, mm -hmm. like just dust and stuff like accumulates on top of each other and builds layers and layers and that's what happens it's, and yeah it's terrifying it is it is it is one day we'll be buried under by the <laughs> <laughs> well it makes you feel fortunate like of the lifestyle we're, we're having yeah, here yeah. in the west even if you're like poor you wouldn't think of like living like that yeah you know is like, your house is literally sinking yeah I yeah. mean because you know when you think of your house you think of, of safe space yeah you think of like somewhere that you just mm -hmm. don't really have to think about anything bad happening to it anyway mm -hmm. yeah. you mm -hmm. know yeah. not that you could potentially die there yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. like well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that <laughs> you, like, you don't have to think about the rain entering from your window yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah so seeing some random guy pissing outside my house hey what's <laughs> Uh, so they get cocky. Yes. That's when the whole film takes a turn. Yeah. And makes the main family, the poor family, into kind of like bad guy yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. You start, you stop sympathizing with them, mm. and you start like. You start thinking, you start like, thinking like, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah what like, are you doing? what the fuck? Yeah. Like, you start questioning their motives, really. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you can see that when the woman comes in, it's like, yeah. all you can do is like getting drunk. Yeah. Mm. That's all you can do. Instead of like bettering yourself, you know? Yeah. yeah. Because it's like. 
saving for rainy days. Yeah, they, yeah exactly. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Will, saving for rainy days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because they, before, you'd think, oh, they're thinking about survival. Mm-hmm. But then they stopped thinking about survival and stopped and started thinking about like luxury and green and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And it just, it messed them up. Yeah. And that, that's what it is, greed. As yeah. you said before, yeah, that's, that's what they do. They get greedy really quick. Yeah. Uh, maybe one of the things that bothered me is there's no real time frame. Yeah. You never hear like, oh, like oh, this day or this day or yeah, something like that. Yeah. How how much time has passed? Yeah, which serves the story because it, it confuses you a bit. I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. random time shifts. Yeah, like, yeah, because night. it was like, um, we don't really know how, how long, long is the story. Yeah, don't really know how long like. The mum was introduced into the like the job mm. to get the job. Like how long it took. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How long that took them to get from the son. Yeah. All the way to the mum. To the mum. And yeah. if you felt like a week. <coughs> yeah. It was like they met yeah. one yeah. person on day one, they were like, Yeah, right, you got any friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this house is really empty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking to put people in. Um that's the only maybe it's not even a criticism, but I guess there's no real way to saying that mm. without sounding disingenuous because in real life you won't say like oh yeah I hired you three months ago or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. unless they messed up real bad <laughs> <laughs> I hired you three weeks ago yeah <laughs> something like that still yeah. done yeah <laughs> something like that yeah um, I mean how long did they say it was at the end of the film when um, he got hit like he was in a coma I think like, it was a year or something was it a year yeah Let's see. wait was he in a coma for a year no, uh, between then and the coma. Yeah. Oh. No, I think between then and the coma is three months okay. before he wakes up. Okay. And between the ending ending, it's our year. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Kind of a short time frame then. That's the only t- only a year really. Because like, how would you? Because so, are we going on the basis that he actually did buy the house in the end? He didn't. He didn't. No. No, it was just a flash. Like uh, that's his like dream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. he wrote in the. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. What he wrote in the letter to his dad. Mm. I think films do that a lot, where they like do like a dream sequence, but they don't make it super clear. But they'll just like change the lighting or style yeah, so you yeah. get a little bit brighter to make it seem like. It's well, in this one, they make it clear. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I just thought that oh yeah, they he Google he got it, and then well, it just flashed back to the point where he's like about to send it off, or he's about to start pursuing what it showed that's what I thought it was the first time I saw the film yeah when I saw that dream sequence yeah I was like wow this fucking film man I hate (laughs) it I don't like this ending Uh and then they go back to the sun yeah like uh, like finishing his letter I'm like alright now it makes sense Mm -hmm. because he didn't do the thing he actually said yeah he's just wishing yeah that he can accomplish that Mm -hmm. so he can reunite with his dad yeah you know but he hasn't done it yet. Yeah. yeah. That that's what I like. I was like, I came around. I was like, all right, now I like the film again. <laughs> I like it even more, because that ending to me is more satisfying than him uh-huh. just getting his. Why dad though? Dead. Why is that more satisfying to you? Because I think you you don't really know if he can do it. Uh huh. But the the thought that he is he's thinking of himself of someone that can be successful. Yeah. It, it seems something it, it's a growth from who he was in the at the beginning of the film yeah he was like very without aim in his life you know mm-hmm. he's just getting wi-fi chatting you know yeah yeah as like a lot of people are in our age you know yeah, yeah. and at the end he's like i got this purpose in life now yeah you know i want to see my dad again yeah. out of that basement yeah you know and I really liked that. I was like, I, th- I thought it was like kind of inspiring. It was like, oh, mm-hmm. you should like have something to look forward. Yeah. You know, to make your life better. And yeah. So if it ended mm-hmm. the way where it was like, that was a flash forward, he mm-hmm. did it. Mm-hmm. And then it flashed back to the part where he's like finishing it off. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about the film then? Uh, I, s- I will still feel better. I still feel big, feel good. Because mm-hmm. that end scene is not just his dream. Yeah. You know? It's what he thinks in that moment. Yeah. Of mm-hmm. what he wants to do. Yeah. 
whether he accomplished it or not in that moment that's his aim you know yeah, yeah. that's what made me came around mm-hmm. where instead if it ended with the dream sequence i was like you know see. that's he, he just dreaming of it yeah and he just does it it, it feels less earned yeah. maybe okay. in a way yeah instead of it just showing <laughs> where he is now and showing where he aims to be yeah yeah because yeah. if it wasn't a dream sequel it was just you know yeah that's what happened <laughs> by the way i'm rich now yeah i'm just a k-pop star you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm hot somehow <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go bold if that's how the movie ended that's what, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean yeah where did you get your money from come on tell me i need the secrets yeah so we are around the mid uh, sequence, the second act, what mm. they call uh, of the movie, um, towards the end of the second act, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And the family is having a party almost in the house. Yeah. Uh, they're getting drunk. Uh, they're owning uh, the house. Yeah. They start calling is our home. Yeah. As mm. well, uh, Kevin is reading the daughter's diary. Diary. Mm. He never says what he's reading. Yeah. But I mean, he's just reading it. Yeah. You read a little bit of it out loud. It doesn't. It just. It doesn't become like a big thing. Yeah. Really. Except for like when he has to like hide. It. Yeah. 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 It's kind of creepy as well. I was like, yeah. Why would you do that? I thought that was gonna be a random sex scene for some reason. I'm not sure. Because he was just under the. Bed. I thought so as well. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like because I felt like. I felt like she was proper in love with him. Mm. You know. I think he was too. That's why he was like yeah, waiting yeah. and staying in, in her room. And so I think that that's why I thought like that might turn into a sex scene because like if she saw him, she would question it later, yeah. but do something now. Kiss, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. like kiss. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought would happen. When you told me that there was going to be a sex scene, I thought like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is a sex scene. Yes, I was told there was a sex yeah. scene coming up. Yes. Yeah. It was in the, I think it's in the dead middle of the film. What, the sex scene? Yeah. Or around that time. I'd say it's around... Maybe like 10 minutes after an hour passed. Mm-hmm. I'd say if it was like... We're talking about it, like in thirds, yeah. It's like two thirds, it? Like it's... Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 60% or mm-hmm. s- of the film is when it happens. So they get too cocky yes. in this scene. Uh, and we get to see a blink of the dad's personality because so far he's kind of a pushover like yeah like his uh his son is telling him like he should be a driver and stuff you know um and the mom even like mocks him says that he's a cockroach you know (laughs) and if uh the owner of the house comes in, he will just hide underneath a uh, couch. Mm. Which is... Yeah. Here's your pride. Yeah. yeah. And he gets a spike in pride. Yeah. And we can we can uh, see a glimpse of the man maybe he once was. Yeah. And he grabs the, the wife, like, very violently. Mm. Uh, but then they just brush it off, like, they, they laugh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and stuff. And they're like, ha, psych. <laughs> After that, they, um, they get a call in the intercom. The old groundskeeper comes in again. She's all like ruined. Her face is. She got injured. She got jacked up. Yeah. Some loan sharks. <laughs> yeah, she even talks differently, you know? Yeah. Um, she got hit with the DDT right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, despite her son telling her to not open the door, the mother opens the door and lets the old groundskeeper in. Uh, and she's like, oh, I left something in the basement. Uh, she goes into the basement. They all wait in the living room mm-hmm. for her to come back. For a little bit. Then the Assassin's Creed their way down. So yeah. down. <laughs> and then the mother goes in the basement. And she, that's one of the weirdest scenes. Yeah. She goes in the basement and sees the groundskeeper like fully horizontally <laughs> pushing a shell. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And turns out the shelf is a door to a um, underground bunker. Yeah. 
built for the war against like North Korea and stuff like yeah. that. Mm. Uh, and in this bunker was living the husband of the groundskeeper. Absolute madness. <laughs> Sucking on a milk bottle, by the way. I like to find a baby's milk bottle. Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sucking from the teeth right there. That's the first thing it does. <laughs> it was very strange. Yeah, and the second thing it does is like deep throating a, a banana. <laughs> a banana, <laughs> banana yeah. yeah. At first, I thought it was a child because he was drinking out of a milk bottle. I thought it was some weird deformed child, but it's like, nah, it's just like it's going on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting something like that, something like grotesque, or, you know. Yeah, yeah well, and yeah. Oh, it's kind of weird for me as well afterwards because. Seeing him suck the milk bowl, deep throat the banana, and then later on, a <laughs> bunch of condoms on like a stack of like needles or whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's some kinky stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, the mother then, the poor mother sees the old groundskeeper and her husband. And the old groundskeeper then is like praying her to let her husband stay there and that they will even pay her and she's like no I'm calling the police yeah yeah. Um, and while they're arguing the rest of the family uh, trips stealth bro this guy that was so <laughs> dumb yeah. they trip and fall in front of the the this other two people it was so stupid like yeah. he was just like just like takes two of them out down the stairs yeah. but if you consider that later on this guy has like Stealth 100, just laying around <laughs> the floor. Like, what? Yeah, he just... <laughs> and what the old groundskeeper does is whip out his phone, <laughs> her phone, and record everything. You know, what? Well, the thing is, it's, it's very real. Like, like, if you say something like that, like, fucking hell, right? Yeah. yeah. I will Nowadays, record... Nowadays, anyway, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I will yeah. record that. Yeah. Especially in a country like Korea where everyone has, like, 5G and they're, like, and cutting edge yeah. technology. Mm. Even them, they were like so poor. And to show that they're poor, the latest phone they got is LG L4, is a, mm. which is, was my phone like a few years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I, I had that phone. It hit you real hard. Like, you, you <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck it up, that's me. Oh, <laughs> shit, origin story right here. Oh. <laughs> if you got an LG, you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> if you're rich, you got something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sorry. Shout out to Samsung. <laughs> Um, so they record them and now the situation is like completely turned on its head it's yeah. gone sideways yeah shit's hit the fan <laughs> alright yeah. they you just it cuts to the scene where the old housekeeper is massaging her husband on the sofa <laughs> and then you see the other family the poor family like putting their hands up in a like begging posture, sort yeah. of posture yeah and they're like yeah put your hands up keep your held high you yeah, know yeah, otherwise yeah. I'm sending this video mm. now that one hit me because <laughs> that's like that's like an old school that's like a childhood punishment that oh really yeah like we used to do like that's all coming out now like <laughs> <laughs> that's like a thing in like, in, <laughs> <laughs> like it's like an African punishment, and that used to happen to me whenever I CJ was like, white. up. He's white, by the way. He's <laughs> <laughs> the whitest person I've ever seen. He's Ross Barkley. <laughs> yeah, it's like... No, he's what? very black. <laughs> <laughs> and he's from Nigeria. My aunt would do that. Like, we would misbehave, and then she would tell us to, like, we would have to kneel down and hold our hands up. It's just, like, <laughs> old-school punishment. Yeah. Jeez, for how long? How for long? <laughs> for how <laughs> I thought it was going to turn into a beheading video at first, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no one didn't use the hands. I was like, whoa, whoa, where's this going? Yeah, so... And they show a flashback of them doing the this, like, quite often. Oh, yes, yes. The, uh, the old housekeeper mm -hmm. and her husband. Yeah, I mean, they... They, what? They started, like, lecturing the poor family, saying, like, oh, you come here and you, you know, drink stupidly, you, like pretty much like you know because they were doing it right like, yeah they said that they were doing it right, right where they would like just enjoy their time there mm -hmm. without being greedy about it if mm -hmm. that makes sense mm -hmm. you know they just walk around the house they'd like Listen take in music yeah just dance, take in yeah. what is actually what they're actually experiencing because the house is like 
a designer house. Like, yeah, it's a beautiful it's, house. Like I said, it is ba- is Bruce Wayne's house. <laughs> yeah, Korean, yeah. Korean, Bruce Korean Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then. Clap cheeks. Oh wait, no, I was just right. Sorry. Oh yeah, <laughs> while they're flashbacking, the mother um, starts um, like age, shoulders them. Yeah, right? starts to take advantage of them take of having a flashback or you know dream, dreaming yeah. reminiscing yeah and then yeah the whole family starts it starts into a fight like mm-hmm. a tug of war of the phone mm-hmm. she knocked that chair over real good those two full grown adults on this she ran and just <laughs> took down that chair and they fell off I was like whoa then right. you yeah. see the old housekeeper grab like a bottle or something like that a, a vase a vase and starts whacking people over their head and it doesn't and it doesn't break that's not like it hurts which I was like whoa <laughs> yeah. that hurts yeah. and then uh, the I think that's that's, a, that's realistic as well yeah because yeah. Yeah. you expect to break because yeah. in films yeah. we've been educated about things breaking yeah. when they hit but the I mean like yeah. it depends like, on how hard I guess you know no but like no ceramic is really hard yeah though. like really the hard. density really. of, a va- of a vase they are really fucking hard mm-hmm. like the way they just shatter in movies is not realistic at yeah. all. I've come to notice because like try to break a bottle in the head of someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... yeah. yeah. And like, <laughs> shout out to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he like, still owes me two cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> like for a brace, a vase to break like that on a human skull is not feasible at all because yeah. the human skull isn't that strong. Oh, well, <laughs> sir, I don't think you've been to IKEA lately. <laughs> That flimsy furniture, you know. Well, they are rich family, so their vase have quality. They don't break. Easily, <laughs> yeah, you know? they got that like, good shit. You yeah. could see that it was thick. It was yeah, a thick vase. Thick they but that's it. when they get violent, like seriously violent. Yeah, that's the first like glimpse of, oh shit, she's like trying to hurt these people. Yeah, that's not just like slapping and yeah. pushing each other, you know. Mm. She's got a lot on the line. Yes, yeah. and that's why. The daughter yeah. brings in the chemical warfare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At first, I'm thinking, you know, she's gonna go get a knife. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. And then she goes into the fridge, and you're like, "What the hell's in the fridge?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She opens some drawers. She gets out a bag, and you're like, "What the fuck's in the bag?" <laughs> and then she just starts like, what, smothering peaches in the in the old woman's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Another funny thing was uh when she took the video of them downstairs and then she's like holding the phone like a gun like go on yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah there are a lot of like comedy bits yeah yeah. even though the, the situation is like definitely really, yeah. not comedy not yeah. comedy like, yeah at points it got it was damn near slapstick yeah. at some points at least it, it was good because they weren't trying too hard to get the comedy in there like yeah. it wasn't yeah. forced it was just like yeah. we're in a scene this yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure to other people it probably wouldn't be that funny. Yeah. Yeah, to us, it's definitely funny, isn't yeah. it? It's like, because they're fighting for basically their lives. Yeah. But the absurdity of the fact that of all the things she thought to get, she went to the fridge and got a bag of peaches. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, it's perfect though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. That is perfect. Yeah, that That's is the perfect, perfect yeah. weapon Yeah. in that situation. After they planned the whole other scene yeah. of yeah. taking her down, yeah. you know, the first time. Yeah, it's perfect. Like, I mean, in that situation, would you think straight away like peaches? I gotta get peaches. <laughs> yeah. For me, I just be like shit. I gotta get a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not after I got cracked in the head with a face. Yeah, nice. yeah. Um, so that's when the film gets violent for the first time. Yeah. Hmm. Like physically violent at least. Uh, so the family wins. Yeah, the, the wins base. the struggle. Yeah. The t- uh job before yeah and they right got, after they won they the get the rich call. family calls yeah we'll be home in eight minutes yes <laughs> get my food ready yeah peasant <laughs> <laughs> uh well, all while they're still in the house yeah and the house is, is a mess yeah that is a bit crazy it was like yeah. eight minutes well we did time it, i guess but it's like they had to do all that in eight minutes, clean up all the stuff they yeah. broke. I mean, the mum just focused on cooking the food, obviously. Yeah. yeah. The dad was handling the the, the old housekeeper and her husband. Yeah. Mm. Then the sister was cleaning the living room, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
and the brother was just getting the diary back. Yeah. Like, that's it, right? Yeah. Like, that's slow as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, he, that's him in the whole movie, right? And he didn't even it lock it that, yeah. properly in the eight minutes he yeah. had, you know? <laughs> yeah, and um, they somehow managed to not get caught yes. by the owners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is a bit of a mess. You have to carry like two bodies downstairs, put a diary bag, sweep up some glass, make food. Oh, yeah. yeah. And somehow. Oh, yeah. Something really important happens when the mother is making the food. Yes. Yeah. yeah? So the old groundskeeper somehow, uh, what happened to her? She, she walks. Loose. Yeah. Oh, she, went, she went to run back upstairs. Yeah. And yeah. the poor mother fucking super kicked her back down yeah. the stairs. Yeah. Shawn Michaels. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And then hits her head on the wall. Like, really hard. Quite, yeah. like, you'd think she's dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was quite bad. Yeah. Good, good you just hear a, you hear a, like, a, yeah. Yeah. a yeah. knock. And you're like, I'm like shit. Bro. Yeah. It's like, cause... I mean, you wouldn't expect that, you know? I mean, like, this, even though you'd seen them be violent already, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? There was violence already. Yeah. You wouldn't... But it was still, like, comedy yeah. violence, yeah. you know? Yeah. No one's really got hurt. And I'm pretty sure... She kicked her with no intention of like, you know, killing, killing her. her. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. It's just that she wasn't thinking of that in yeah. that moment. She was like, I don't want to get caught. Yeah. Yeah. It was her life on the line pretty much. Yeah. And she was like, Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this bitch. She's going down the stairs. Yeah. yeah. And it was so lackadaisical the way she kicked it too. It's like, uh Yeah, it didn't even gone. seem like that hard as well. Yeah. Like yeah. itself it looked like that I think was she no... had her feet like bounded or something or her hands. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I think it was her feet or something like that. But yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, it just looked like there was no real force in it. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. It wasn't like it was Shawn Michaels counting <laughs> yeah. ten. <laughs> you know what I mean? music, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just looked like, oh. By the way, uh, wrestling podcast coming next week. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, a couple of us won't be here for that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for the wrestling to start. CJ. <laughs> it should be next Wednesday if This podcast is sponsored by uh, CJ and the Wrestling Society The UEL Wrestling Society Coming soon, hopefully Yeah <laughs> Watch wrestling and get your dicks up Wait, what? <laughs> Cut that And it's in <laughs> and, uh, Yeah, so The woman Hits her head really hard Yes Suffers uh, a concussion. No, so was it nasty though. Like, mm. I like how they layered the whole situation with her because they could have like just let her die there. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah. she's dead. That's it. And instead, the poor husband, uh, Mr. Kim, takes her back into the basement. Yeah. And first of all, ties her up again, yeah. and then checks if she's alive. Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, she's alive," yeah. and he leaves. Le- leaves them in the in the basement although she's bleeding from her head yeah, yeah. She, he leaves them there and he goes upstairs again and so we leave the bunker people in peace for for, for a few scenes yeah and the poor family gets stuck under a table yeah <laughs> and that's when Liam's favorite part comes in yes lads so they come back I'm gonna do this. So they come back and obviously they didn't go camping, so they set up camping. The rich family comes, oh, sorry, comes back. The rich family comes back and they didn't set up camp uh, they didn't go camping in the end, so they set up the camping stuff in the back in the garden for the kid. Mm-hmm. The sun goes out there, does that. The door goes upstairs to go sleep in bed. Gets all dark, you know, set the mood, put on some some like Korean soul music. No, that was a different that was a different scene. But like <laughs> yo, all of a sudden just all of a sudden my guy's just like ready for it oh yeah the family went on the, the poor family went on the table to hide mm-hmm. high level stealth there <laughs> so like then the this guy rubs her nipples starts rubbing it again real descriptive right? the just husband scary. yeah yeah sorry the husband starts rubbing his wife's nipples right now yeah real descriptive like, <laughs> yeah they're, they're like yeah. laying on the sofa yeah. Yeah. yeah in my opinion I feel like that's so natural yeah it is like yeah. sometimes you just have the urge it's not like oh you want to go have sex like mm-hmm. yeah it doesn't usually happen yeah. in my opinion usually you just be like you're just doing normal stuff yeah going about your business sitting next to each other yeah and then you just start getting a bit handsy yeah <laughs> this go this guy handsy real quick though like. I mean, if that's your wife and you're like just laying there you know but this is where it gets weird though they so they're doing it he starts rubbing places i'm not gonna get too descriptive she starts <laughs> tugging on something 
Chicken, chicken, you know, spanking the monkey. Good. That's an okay movie, by the way. You should check that out. No, don't, don't check it out. Yeah, so she does that. She and starts playing the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Wizzy. Like. Yeah. And midway through this, the husband jumps back to a pre, well, not previous scene, but jumps back to something previous in this film and says, you still got those panties from the car. Yeah. Yeah. Put them on, put them on. And then the wife's like, Oh, oh, buy me drugs. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll buy you drugs. <laughs> and this thing goes on, and then we progress. They get safe and then it save. reaches a climax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we cut to when the son gets a text from the mum saying that everyone is asleep yeah. and it's the right time to leave. Mm. And yeah, this, this scene is pretty funny as well. <laughs> Uh, the son and, and the daughter, yeah. uh, Kevin and Jessica, they managed to reach the door quite easily. Mm. And while their father is getting there, uh, the couple, the the owners, they wake yeah. up. Uh, they get walk walk, walk by the son. The the son. Yeah. They sleep. couldn't sleep. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't sleep. <laughs> oh, mayday, mayday, we've got an emergency. Yeah. What is it? This Can't sleep. <laughs> and the dad just lays on the floor, <laughs> like in plain sight, st- like stays there, st- like really still. Yeah, like his metal gear, yeah. like his snake. Yeah. Like his solid <laughs> snake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was kind of hoping he'd just get caught in the light and then he'd be like, snake. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like fully, like facing the ground, yeah. not moving. Like a slug, almost, yeah. yeah. And the owners, they go back to sleep. Yeah. All while the guy in the base, in the bunker. Yes. Is sending Morse code to the son. To the rich family's son. Yeah, yes. to the rich family's son. Oh yeah, backstory on the light. There's, there are like three lights in the house. <laughs> uh, and for some reason, they are ma- uh, manually lit. Yeah by some switches in the bunker. Hmm. Very strange. Yeah, very <laughs> strange. And the guy in the bunker, he uses them to show respect to the owner of the house, hmm. which he never met, as, as we said before. Hmm. He lights them manually every time the guy takes the step, which is really odd and fucked up. Why is no one questioning why the lights are going on when people walk I by? think they just think that it's sensors. Yeah, they Emotion just thought it's sort of Everything is sensors or they just think like, oh, the light's acting up again, like it's not yeah. a big deal. Are they just that rich? They, they just like, brush it off, yeah. 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 Wouldn't you call an electrician at some point if you're that rich? Like, oh, the light's flickering on and off randomly. I'm not going to lie to you. In my house, right, in my room, I have a light that just doesn't even work that well. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd just be fucking pushing the button 20 times a until it comes on. So, I mean, when you're... What you're saying is that someone's living in your bunker. Yeah. <laughs> either, either someone's living upstairs, yeah, or, you know, you just, you can't be bothered because it's so small. It's yeah. such yeah. a small thing. Yeah, you, you just, just get like, used to it. Yeah. And yeah. the whole house has, has other lights. Yeah. So I'll like, talk to my phone, it's fine. And I'll shine the torch on my room. Yeah. So, um, the, the kid is in the scouts. Yes, in the in the tent. Yeah. And he's trying to decipher what, what he's the, yeah trying to decipher what the Morse code is saying. But to be honest, it didn't. It just he didn't, it didn't get look it. like it was working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was it was close, I think. Yeah. But it just he, he got hype. Yeah, hype m hype yeah. m and then yeah. m yeah, yeah that's it. And then whereas the message probably was help me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but he's real panicked, obviously, with his wife and all that, and he's like smacking his head on it. Yeah, yeah. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Yeah. Mm. Intense, especially with like yeah. the wife before that was like, oh, I got a concussion, and she like throwing it up. And oh like, yeah, yeah. We we cut to the bunker, yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. the wife is throwing up, yeah. while the poor family is going back to their house. Yes, while there's a storm outside. Yeah, it's raining a lot, Every, yeah, heavily. Yes. And then they go back, and before they go back to the house, they start discussing like what's the next plan and whatnot. Yeah. Like what should we do? The father's just like, leave it to me. I have the plan. You guys forget about what Which happened. Which he never does before. Yeah. Before that, is like, the son is like, I got the plan. Yeah. He's like, I bring my sister in. Yeah. And then the sister has the plan, you know. We bring the mom. Uh, we bring the dad, you know. Mm. And then they bring the whole family. Mm. That's the first time the dad says, I have a plan. Yeah. 
And yeah, so they go back to the house. We got a bit of levity and tragedy at the same time. Yes, I'd say so. Yeah? yeah. So we see the last moments of the groundskeeper. She managed to talk to the, she managed to kind of free her husband and talk to him before dying from the concussion. Yeah. They're stuck in the bunker. And all mean, meanwhile, the family is going back to their house. And all you see is the rain and them going down. Yeah. They take stairs, they take slopes, and it feels like forever they just keep going down. Yeah. Mm. And you see the water raising all, 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 all along. Yeah. And it culminates with them seeing their house. And the father saying, "Do we leave the window, the window open?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, this is sewage water. Like my daughter, you stay here." Yeah, and he starts running into it, and it really is sewage fucking water. Yeah, yeah. it's like yellow. It's fucking brown and yellow. Yeah, yeah. it's disgusting. Yeah, oh, I would hate to be in that situation. Yeah. The neighbor mm. is asking them to help them. They're yeah. like, "No, fuck our house is like yeah. every going himself. down." Yeah, the house is going down, and. I think it, it says what we see at the beginning of the film about the dad, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, leave the window open, you know? Leave oh, the yeah. window open. Mm-hmm. And he left the window open even when they were when leaving for days in yeah. the other house. They left the window open. And they come back, the, the whole house is flooded. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it wouldn't have flooded if the window was closed. Maybe not that badly. Yeah, yeah. maybe not that badly. Because yeah. yeah. it was raining yeah. really heavy. But I think it's still something... And apparently the water was still coming from the toilet. Yeah, as well. that is right. like yeah. the whole situation was fucked. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's a reason why our attention was called to the window. Because mm-hmm. he's like, when even the fumigation comes in, Yeah. he's like, leave the window open, we get free like... Fumigation, yeah. Fumigation, yeah. even though it's like very bad for your health. Yeah. He's like, he doesn't care about the big picture, maybe. Yeah, something. I mean, he's all about cutting costs and, like, you know, if I can get it for free, any way possible, I'll yeah. get it for free. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter how. Yeah. Know, I, I just want it. And which bites him in the ass somehow at the end, right? Mm. And so, yeah, that comes your favorite scene? Yeah, I mean, when um, the daughter. Yeah was like she had a secret stash of her cigarettes and I think money was in there as well yeah that's what yeah. I thought yeah and then she's like she re- she's really uh, deta- detaching herself from what is actually happening like oh, fucking she's up to her I don't know her waist in sewage water yeah yeah, yeah. and then and she, the ceiling is very low where the toilet yeah. is and then she starts like she the toilet keeps gushing out some Comically, dirty almost, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost comically, because it's yeah. like pushing. pushing yeah. Out. Like it's a fucking rocket. Yeah. Yeah. And then she just puts the toilet seat down, she puts everything down, and then she starts sitting on it and just starts smoking. Yeah. And she's, I feel like she's just thinking about what happened at the bunker. She's not thinking about mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. what this is. Yeah. yeah. This whole part is like really quick. It gets yeah. like really quick. Because the first part is not slow. Yeah. Because it's all set up. Mm-hmm. for what happens yeah. in the second part of the film and that's why I think it's like it pays off like as a as an experience of the whole film yeah uh, that's why like the first part it feels almost that you've seen this film before you know it's like oh it's it's a classic like con film you know? yeah like, yeah they, they just tried to rob this family yeah. that's what it is but at the end no one gets hurt like the rich get poor yeah. and the poor get rich or they learn something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. No one gets hurt. And that's when the whole film as you said, like the shit hits the fan like Yeah. Like literally yeah. shit is yeah. the aircon yeah. or the fan. <laughs> I don't know where they go in it. But, but you yeah. don't even get the time to to think about that. Yeah, you can't even take it in. Yeah. Because the next, what the next scene is like, um, in a shelter. Well, the shelter part, yeah, oh, shelter. This is the shelter part, and then the, the sun. For some reason, the sun, it keeps holding on to the rock. What, the rock that men. Oh yeah, we we haven't mentioned that. Yeah. 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 At the beginning of the film, 
his friend Min brings this rock yeah. that his grandfather decided to give to Kevin's family. Yes. It doesn't say for what reason though. It did. I, like, well, he like, just did. forgot. What it yeah. symbolizes that. It brings wealth. Wealth. Yeah. yeah. It brings wealth. Yeah. <coughs> Corona. And um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just for some reason he keeps holding on to it. Mm-hmm. Like but what I don't understand is why he took it into the bunker. Later. Yes. He's gonna kill the guy, no? Was he gonna kill them? Yeah, he took it to kill him and then he got used on him. Classic wrestling trip. Bring a weapon and get used <laughs> on his I think uh I think that's what he he wanted to do. Yeah, because he's like, I've got a plan. Because his dad didn't have a plan, he's like, I've got a plan, I'm gonna handle this. And he went in with a big old rock and then yeah, he didn't get to kill him. He messed up. Yeah, he fucking dropped it down the stairs. He dropped the fucking rock. I didn't so you think it was the killer? Oh, yeah. Why, why else, then? I don't know, innit? He's going to give this guy the rock. There you go, with your hands tied behind your back. Here's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, like, kind of... Not... Well, well obviously, it's malicious. Yeah, yeah. But it's messed up because the rock was meant for them. Mm. Yeah. You know? And it did bring them wealth. Yeah. Yeah. But they messed up. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. It's kind of stupid though. Like when he dropped the rock downstairs, he's like, "Oh my god, I've lost the element surprise." But it's like, like you could have just ran down. Like the first thing he should have done was pick up the rock, but instead he just kind of like went to check on the body and yeah. just ignored everything else around him. I would be like, "Where is this crazy guy in the bunker?" First? But it still shows that he was. Maybe he wanted to bring the rock to give them wealth. That's what I thought was going to yeah. happen. To be honest with you. And then he just messed up. I don't know. This guy seemed real fishy. He was sneaking downstairs. He was, but I think that's his nature. He's like he's not really, like, as we he, see at the, at the beginning. He's not, yeah, he's not headstrong. Like, yeah, he's, he's not, not confident. Like, he's not true. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he can kill someone. Because it didn't seem like you know, I was in his nature to kill. Yeah. Really, but yeah. it didn't seem with the dad as well. To be fair. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, you guys are right because the first time because this time I, I didn't see the scene mm-hmm. I was like distracted or something the first time I saw it I remember I felt really bad when the bunker guy yeah. drops the rock on him yeah yeah because I remember that he went in with that intention to like check on them yeah and give them the, the rock or something yeah and you can see that he tried to help them because he's like he concerned yeah, about the that's woman. why I was a bit confused. I don't know, like, if I've, ki- if I've essentially kidnapped, not kidnapped, if I've essentially locked people in a basement, I'm not going to give them a, a wealth rock and just leave them in the basement. Yeah, but I mean, like... <laughs> but he's not, like, his true. dad or anything. He is his guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, the daughter wanted to go down and give them food yeah. straight away, but yeah. then, like, got taken away. Yeah. yeah. And I guess you never really know until you're in a situation where it's like... Because their whole life is unraveling at this point yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like there is that possibility where you could be like maybe this will solve the issue yeah but in the same sense it could just be he was because nice. he was in you know basement he was a ba- basement person right yeah and then he got the rock and he got better right so he was like maybe if he pass the rock on to these people they will have a better life as well yeah yeah in the basement yeah instead he gets like instead he gets shagged yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. I that mean, was... that scene where he threw it a second time, I was like, Yeah, that's so, that's so violent. That's so fucking so violent. That's so fucking raw. I was like, no way. Because the first time they cut, yeah. they yeah. didn't show it. And then he does it, and he's like, yeah. and the like, whole thing. I was like, what? You just hear a big sad. funk, and it's yeah. like, oh. Like, it's it's so gross, yeah. Like, it's like, he does the movement with the hand. Like, oh. And then we get to the party. Yeah, so while they're in the shelter, yes. they get the call from the mom asking them to be... For kids, uh, the son's birthday party. To the son's birthday party, yeah. yeah. And all while they are still shocked yeah. by what happened the day before and what happened to their house. Yeah. And they are very annoyed, kind of. They... I just felt like they're, they're not themselves obviously yeah. it? and they're like because of what happened yeah. it has given them a different outlook of what they're doing as yeah. well mm. on themselves as yeah. well because it felt like the son was quite remorseful yeah because he was like do I even fit in this type of place like 
I, like he stopped kissing the, the girl that he's loved yeah. supposedly you know yeah, yeah. and then he's like the, the, um, he, to his sister he's like oh yeah. you can fit yeah. you are good enough yeah. to fit yeah and then the the dad when he has a conversation with the rich family's father yeah. you know he's like I don't know that conversation it seems the dad is always weird. tense when, yeah when he's talking with the with the uh, the rich family guy yeah. you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rich dad and like it kind of shocked me when he was just like look I'm paying you extra yeah like do it kind of thing because he didn't even say anything it like didn't even that. seem like it was going that way if that makes yeah. sense yeah. when I was watching it I guess the rich guy got fed up like with all his questions yeah. and like whatever he was saying yeah I kind of yeah. get that it's a weird dynamic because it felt like they had a weird like pride and uh, jealousy kind of thing like when he was in the car with the guy it yeah, like, yeah, yeah, must yeah. be hard being a businessman and being like the head of a family yeah, he yeah. lost his business as well it's, yeah. like, it's got to yeah. you a little bit like yeah. Yeah. Oh, that should be me yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think that that's what was going on. It's like, oh, but you love your wife, right? Yeah. Implying that he doesn't love his wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which he do- doesn't like answer really. He doesn't. He uh, he answers weirdly. Yeah. 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 He's like he says, "Of course I do," which he is loves, uh, which is normal, isn't it? Yeah. But then what did he say next? He said like, like "Yeah, let's call it that." <laughs> yeah, let's call it that. And I was yeah. just like. Yeah, I was like, "What's going on?" That's yeah. not normal. Like yeah. you don't say that if you're yeah. not. If you're in love with someone, like, yeah, let's yeah, exactly. Call it, let's call it love. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if you love someone, I don't think you get to wear some crusty panties you found in your car. Right? And then you'd be like, "I'll buy your drugs now." <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, just watching that scene where they were talking, I was like, "Well, uh, maybe that has to do something with the Korean like culture and stuff." Because mm-hmm. they get married like in mass, like that, like sixty thousand people got married at the same time. I saw the other day. Oh, did not know that. Wow. I'm not Korean, so I wouldn't know. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they have uh, a church called the Global Church or something, mm-hmm. and it's like a massive stadium with all these couples dressed for marriage, and they got all get married at the same time. Jeez. I haven't looked much into it, so, but I know that a lot of people got married at the same time. Kind of wild. <laughs> and it's something that happens regularly. Yes. Maybe it has to do something with that. Maybe, actually. We need to look into this. Next podcast. <laughs> Korean society. <laughs> the KKK pop society. <laughs> uh, like, I <laughs> buy the Krispy Kreme Korean. <laughs> <laughs> we eat a lot of donuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, um, what happens then? They go to this birthday party, right? Yes. Uh, in which all the family members are invited. The, the poor family members are invited. And um, the dad, Mr. Kim, Mr. The, the poor guy, that gets into... Uh, no, we're, we're towards the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, gets into a um, show, kind of, like... A performance. A performance, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, with the with the rich dad. Oh yeah, the cowboys and Indians thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. tell the kid beat his fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know how it's gonna help, but yeah. No, yeah. it's just like because the kid's kind of obsessed with the whole cowboys and Indians and stuff. Yeah, I so like it was like Native we're American. gonna we're gonna pop out and attack, and then the boy's gonna be the, the good Indian. That's like ah, I would like to bang. <laughs> it is Native American. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were there first. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> I ain't causing no international problems here. Yeah. No, but I, it's true. <laughs> Technically, yeah. I mean it is true. It's true. Let's be real. They should get their Oscar revoked <laughs> for being racist. Uh, they get tense really quickly. Yeah. Uh, you can see the father being like visibly altered, like yeah, like distraught, like flying within himself, like yeah. like ever since. <laughs> Like he was under the table and basically being insulted by the guy. Oh yeah, yeah. we we didn't talk about that. Yeah, My bad, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Seems too good. <laughs> it's like oh he, yeah, there's a, there's like, like hints of the rich family, father specifically of the rich family. Yeah, hating his smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and implying that he smells like a poor 
people. Yeah, yeah. like what do you say? Like an old radish. Yeah. Or like yeah. smells like someone off the subway or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. And they and whereas like as you said, like the kids they don't they brush it off. They don't yeah. they don't yeah. care. Mm. The father takes it like really personally. Yeah. Like, yeah. He smells himself like shit, I smell bad. Yeah. yeah. Multiple times. Yeah. 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 Like even before that scene, he was going. He was like raving about how nice they are. Yeah, uh, is being rich people, and then for I guess for that view to be just ripped down right in front of him, like they don't know that they're there and they're shit talking them. And it's like, oh, they're not as nice as I thought they were. Yeah, yeah. Well, while hiding from yeah. them in their own house. <laughs> well, my opinion is like, was it? It's not even personal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's something you can change. Yeah. It's yeah. not your personality. Yeah. You can change it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can but he take took it like super personally. He took it like, I'm the only person that smells in the whole wide world. And, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the implication, though, of like, you're just poor in it. Like, yeah. Because he was like, yeah. you get on the subway, and that's what regular regular or poorer people do. Because then, even the the small child, he's like, smells people. He's like, oh, they all smell the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because they're all from the same house yeah. and stuff. You know? Yeah. And that's when I thought they will like move out, because mm. they have this speech about how they are all doing well. Yeah, yeah. They have like they're earning, all like enough. Yeah. But they still choose to stay there. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I think that's what what it is. It's like they never think of like living. Yeah. That place, you know. For me, it was like they don't. They're not trying to. Have have success in their own lives mm-hmm. they're just trying to get success from other people yeah yeah. you know and it was just like just thinking of the now you know yeah. just thinking of eating better yeah. yeah you know that's it like living a better life through your own means and not mm. through other people's materialistic yeah. things yeah because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. they are like faking the whole thing mm-hmm. because like they're all a family but they're pretending like oh it's just someone I know who Someone who knows my cousin. Yeah. Oh, my uncle's friend. Oh, this is a company that I found the business card for that they were going to sign me. You should call them. Like, they're just lying the whole way through instead of just being like, oh, hey, my sister's uh, good at art. She can teach her son. Oh, hey, my dad was a driver. Oh, my wife's pretty good at... Housekeeping. The, yeah. And they're just like... I guess he... The... The second lie is to cover for the first one. Yeah. Because he's not in uni. Yeah. He, he's he's bar- he doesn't have a job. He's not doing anything else. It's just that. That's his whole job. Yeah. Right? And to cover for that, he lies and, you know. Yeah. They straight he, yeah. forge a fucking exactly. college, what is it, certificate or admission letter? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, the party. Yeah. That's when really it gets like really yeah, that's when uh, how can you describe psychotic like it's just fucking I it felt too real for some bits mm-hmm. and like the whole situation is they're having a party yeah know, for this kid's birthday but they're like all rich families yeah going there mm-hmm. they're so rich that their car doesn't fit in the garage and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They go like implying that because that's the only car we see. Yeah, like they're so rich that they can no problem go to a party they were invited to the day of. Yeah. Like the straight up. Impromptu. Yeah, in the morning the the mother is like, yeah, yeah. we're having an we're impromptu having pop- yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah party, and it doesn't even look like it is. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Kind of wild. And it is kind of wild. Yeah. It is, and they're all dressed in like kind of white colors yeah you know like pastel like, bright like colors. summer colors like, yeah, yeah, yeah bright colors the whole scene is like very warm yeah, yeah. Like, which throws you off from the previous scene which is very dark and yeah warm, yeah yeah right Total opposite really yeah. Isn't it? yeah and then you see this like bright scene with cake yeah everyone partying yeah you know bright white cake everyone yeah wearing bright, you get that white bit of tenseness yeah yeah because you know the fuck is coming up the stairs you get that, with the rock. Yeah, you, you get that brief, brief fanciness, and then you you cut to the son. Yeah. Yeah. Who is concerned about the bunker people? Yeah. 
and he opens the door he gets there yeah he drops the rock yeah and ruining <laughs> ruining the element of surprise by the way that too that, as yeah. well yeah just lay down like that and him. once he gets there he sees the woman dead yeah and what is like checking on her he gets his head his neck uh Latch? Yeah, it's like Lesser? one of those. Yeah. Yeah, those like they one use? of those. They use those for like dogs. Uh, animals. Yeah, yeah, like dogs mostly. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the men and stuff like that. Yeah, it, yeah. It gets one of those uh, hoops, uh, like a yeah. leash, really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by the other guy. Yeah. Uh, what he does? What he? He, he, into, like, the he tries to. Oh, he hooks him to the pipe. He, he hooks him. him to the pipe, and he escapes from there. Yeah, he escapes from that. Swing him with the rock. Yeah, he tried to bludgeon him to death <laughs> with the rock. Yeah, he tried to kill him with the rock. Luckily, it just twisted and popped out. Yeah, and then he somehow could not escape and run upstairs. Oh no, he did run upstairs. And then he, he ran, ran upstairs, upstairs yeah. yanked the thing, and then he, uh, the ledge he, got yeah, yeah, yeah it got stuck. caught or he, the other guy did something to it or something. Yeah, and he tripped over. Yeah, and he hits the floor. He hits the floor. Then the guy from the bunker comes up with the rock. With the rock, dashes it at his head. Yeah. Right. <laughs> While he's on the floor. We don't see that. It though. cuts. Yeah. It cuts. And then you just Back see blood the on the floor and you see like a bottle broken or something like yeah. that. Yeah. The blood is mixing with the liquid on the floor. Yeah. yeah. And then he picks the rock again. And then he picks it up again. And you're thinking, no fucking way. Yeah. You're they're going to cut again. Yeah. They're, you're thinking, do you know what? Fine. Throw it at him. Yeah. I don't want to see it. It's not <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah I'm I mean, not going to see it. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> It stays on the same fucking scene, and he hits the, and he and he dashes the rock at his head. Yeah. For raw for everyone to see. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. it makes such a loud noise. He like he has like glitches and stuff. And then you know? he's you know you, he's knocked out, but then he still kind of reacts to it because yeah, it's like his body reacts yeah. to the to the hit. And you're just yeah. you're just thinking like that's so fucking raw. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And it gets even worse. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets even worse. Because he starts walking up the stairs. Yeah, as he did before with the sun. Yes. He goes through the kitchen, obviously, because when you walk up the stairs, it goes straight to the kitchen. Yeah. He he walks a bit, he sees the table, and he stops. And then he's, you know, he starts looking over the table, mm-hmm. and then he just grabs a knife. Oh, so his wife, before dying, yes. said to him, remember... Uh, oh, yes. The name of the woman that killed me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she's such a nice person yeah. that she pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Remember her name. Yeah. By her again. <laughs> yeah. And then he it cuts to the party scene, yeah. and uh, it's, everything is bright again. Yeah, yeah everyone's yeah. happy again. Uh, like uh, Jessica, yeah, has the cake in her hands. Yeah, he's bringing it to the sun. Yeah, about to go to the sun, and then you see. From behind her, like yeah. it changes focus, like yeah. it comes into the bunker guy. Yeah. That he starts walking to her, yeah. he turns her around and he stabs her. Yeah. And, and she, then she just she's she's a pro, in it. Yeah. <laughs> she's a pro. She's like, fuck off with this cake in your face. Yeah. She puts the cake <laughs> yeah. on his face. Which is a natural reaction, I feel like. Yeah. You think like, so? Yeah. yeah. Like someone like attacks you. Yeah. You don't know where, but someone attacks you, well, and I, you just yeah, I I either think you'd either throw it at, or you. I mean, you put it in that someone's someone's face, or you just drop it and then throw hands. But she's a she's a woman. You have to remember that. Yeah. Because I think women are more prone to the slapping and stuff uh-huh. like that. And yeah. because she had the cake, she's like. Yeah, like trying to push him away. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. I would not speculate. On she that. slapped the cake <laughs> on her on his face, which did nothing, but yeah. still. She gets stabbed into the heart. Yeah. yeah. She could be an MMA fighter. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. oh, well, come on. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm not. I'm just saying that, like, some people might be in so much shock yeah. that yeah. they just drop everything that they're holding on to. Especially yeah. if you get stabbed in, yeah. in your heart. Yeah. yeah. I thought she was gonna do but, that. I thought she was gonna just drop it and then just like fall down. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah. So when I like during that part, I st- I'm not gonna lie, I started laughing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. It was big. Yeah, it was pretty covered. Going into uh, going uh, going into the guy's face, yeah. and then the guy, the um, bunker guy, yeah, he turns around and asks for the mother. Yes, yes. And the mother, which was already trying to get there yeah. to save the daughter, is being held by the other um, what they call like guest. 
uh, no, they're like people that were cooking for the oh, oh the, uh, the, caterers. the party, yeah, yeah the yeah. caterers and stuff like that. Yeah, they were keeping her back. Yeah, and uh, she frees herself and runs to the guy with a hammer. I think. Like, well, like a yeah. It was, was it a hatchet? hatchet? Yeah, hatchet. yeah, yeah. It was a hatchet. Yeah, yeah. With a hatchet. Yeah. yeah. And that's where you can see that she's a pro. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, that's that silver medal. That's yeah. that Olympic silver medal. The guy fucking... tries to stab her. Yeah. She, like, dashes his hand on a side yeah. and hatches him. Yeah. And then impales him with the. The skewer. A skewer, yeah. A yeah, big skewer. Meat, a meat skewer. Yeah, a big yeah. one for, like, barbecue and kebabs, yeah. you know, yeah. those yeah. ones. Like, like your local kebab man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to the hair man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, everything just goes into slow motion. Yeah. And you just see the reactions. She goes to her daughter. Of the, the dad. And the dad is looking around, seeing everything that's happening. He sees his daughter on the floor. Yeah. And he's trying to stop her from bleeding out. He sees... The kid... <coughs> has an attack oh yes yes when the he sees is, when he sees the bunker of person yeah he's like shit like that. Uh, flashback yeah, yeah. and um he starts um having conversions yeah, yeah like a combat. seizure or something like that yeah. mm-hmm. and then the rich family for some reason so when this is all going on every other person that just attended the party the has, fucking has fucked off yeah. Yeah. has They're just like off. fuck this I'm not getting involved yeah. and the dad is looking at other people fucking off yeah, and he's just like, shit. There is something bad happening to my daughter, and everyone's fucking off. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Because obviously, in that type of situation, yeah, it's only one person. Yeah, you expect someone to help you, isn't it? and yeah. you would expect like, if it like is one person. Realistically, everyone ganging up on that one person is <laughs> possible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but everyone's afraid to like get stabbed. Get stabbed. Get hurt. Because one which guy, makes sense. I understand. one guy tries. Yes, to have. I that. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to throw a table something I don't know he just, <laughs> he he gets, just like, gets involved yeah he gets like bruised with a knife on his belly mm-hmm. but like nothing serious yeah he gets slashed yeah and that's when everyone else like yeah, kind of like, like fuck this yeah. I'm gone yeah. and then you just see the rich family's dad yeah like takes uh, the boy yeah and keeps asking like the other father the poor family the father like to come drive on them. drive us to the hospital yeah. Obviously, the rich family's father doesn't know the relationship between the um, the poor family's daughter and the, you the, know. he doesn't know that they are all related. Related, yeah. yeah. They don't know that. So yeah. obviously, it would make sense for him to be like, "Yeah, fucking bring us here. Bring like take." You us had to those the-, the whole time. <laughs> these are mine. Yeah. Yeah, these the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> you had this the whole time. <laughs> yeah, right. You didn't, br- you didn't share it with us. Well, I mean, I thought with I don't want us to be like, oh, yeah. Um, it would have been fun. <laughs> I had to find out one thing about this too. Shout out to the the door who's getting taught English. She was dench. Picked up the guy who'd been bludgeoned. Yeah, oh, yeah, she, yeah. That yeah. was yeah. respect. She, she takes him on. Uh, that was respect. respect. Yeah. I was like, yo, <laughs> yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone hit me in the rug. It hit me with a rug. Someone picked me up like that. Yeah, get you that's a, love. Get you yeah. a girl that can do both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She picks. Uh, Kevin yeah she beats Kevin up on her bed and she you know tries to get him out of there as quick as possible which which the dad sees which I respect like that's fucking crazy that's probably he was alive yeah and um, where's that silver medal isn't it yeah and then uh, during that time what um, the rich father was just like if you're not going to take me just just throw me the keys throw me the car keys so that I can take my son yeah. And he throws him the keys, but it's not a great throw. Yeah. Because it gets tangled and it... Underneath um, the body. Of underneath it. the body of the bunker guy, oh, no, who is was, still fighting the mother. Yeah, like he threw the keys and they kind of... Their bodies yeah. kind of intercepted. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh okay. And then... That's when, when that's she happening. skewers him. She skewers him. The rich father comes over. He starts smelling the guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> this guy's been in, in yeah. a bunker for like... Asian. Yeah, yeah, and he's just like he starts putting his shirt up to his nose so he doesn't try to smell him. Yeah, and he moves him up and he gets the keys, all while like holding. Oh, his... all while holding his nose yeah. so he doesn't yeah. smell him. And the monkey guy. And like, the monkey's like, "Oh, respect. Mr. Kim, like respect." respect. And the guy is just like, "Do I know you?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like like Thanos. And, uh, <laughs> I don't like even it, know yeah. who you are. <laughs> yeah, and then um, and that's what triggers. 
Yeah, but I find that such a short trigger because this doesn't even like. Hmm. It's a build-up thing, isn't it? Because yeah, the whole film, yeah, he's, he's had to watch this guy. Who you know, had the life he had. I understand that, but it's, it's almost just like, like he's he's said it to him again. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. like, well, like that's the thing I was thinking because it that's probably just been like mulling over in his yeah, head yeah, since of course. they were under the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Real poor, and also his daughter's been stabbed here. This guy's just fucking off, not even trying to. Like, yeah, help yeah, yeah. Not even like we'll give you a lift to the hospital or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, not even calling even, the police. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like even, taking his son to the hospital. Yeah, like even if he didn't know that that was his daughter, it's still like someone they've employed that's bleeding out in their garden. Yeah. Like they're not gonna do yeah. anything about that. And they imply that they liked Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently they, they still they, like her lesser. You know. Yeah, it's like yeah. to the like point that. where they're like. I mean, they invite going, her. Sorry, yeah. you go first. It was like to the point they were like. Yeah, we're gonna invite you specifically for our son's birthday yeah. because he likes you and but we're to going work. To, yeah, yeah, to work. Yeah. But and yeah, we're gonna also involve you in this fucking birthday scheme and she gets stabbed and they're just like, Eh, give me the keys, let me drive my son to the hospital. Yeah. Well they said that the ha- the son has like fifteen minutes or he dies. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. they did yeah. say that, yeah. Yeah, Still, I don't, yeah. So it doesn't justify. Yeah. 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 Us, do you really want someone bleeding on your lawn? At least try it. <laughs> come on. Right. You're rich, I know, but come on. Yeah. So then... I don't remember. <laughs> he, he takes the knife from the ground. Yes. And then he sure shanks that, the father. <laughs> yeah. Sure shanks like the father. Like point blank. Is like... Yeah. Just like, bam. And everyone's in shock. The, the mother faints, I believe. Mm. The rich mother faints. Yeah. yeah. Cause she's like, what the fuck just happened? The father starts looking around, I think, and he's just yeah, like, with blood in his yeah, hands, he looks yeah. at his hands. You see a lot of blood in his hands, and then Absolutely. he walks away. Yeah, and you're thinking like, shit, like, what the fuck is he gonna do now? Like, it's impossible. Yeah, the first time I saw it, yeah. I was like, oh, that's it, that's the ending. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's kind of disappointing, but yeah. it's like, it's alright. Mm-hmm. And then he, cause it cuts to, he fades to black. Yes, I think does it fade straight to the hospital scene? No, it fades to black, and then yeah, like after the black. Yeah, it, go, it goes to the hospital scene. Okay. Yeah, mm. but you get that the moment is like, oh, that's the ending. Yeah, you know? and then you think that the resolution of the film is the son waking up. Yeah, instead it like you know it goes on. Yeah, and yeah. that's when like it gets better. I think it's a more um, overall better ending. The, yeah, right. the ultimate. Like, yeah, uh, the epilogue. Part. Yeah. yeah. Um, it kind of took me out of it when he started laughing. Every when, time, when he wake, uh, wakes yeah, up, yeah, when he woke up, when he, woke he started up, laughing. Yeah. He even said that when, when he saw his sister, he started laughing. Yeah, the picture of his sister. Read about the news, started laughing. I was just like, whoa, that's, that's well, very dark. Maybe it's something like because it's very tragic, you know. Yeah, because yeah. he thought about his sister, like, you know. Maybe I can do it. Yeah. But she definitely can make it, you know? Yeah, yeah. He was always like that, yeah. Like, his sister is the best of their family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's dead. Yeah. She fucking died, you know? And I guess that's... It's, it's tragic, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's probably hard for him to accept as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's and he a tragic did. comic, yeah. what they say. And you know? he did get hit in the head twice. <laughs> he did go ahead, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That probably did cause some neurological damage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's got that Joker thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. He starts yeah. laughing randomly. <laughs> yeah. Gets his card out of his pocket. Like, <laughs> like a Transformers. <laughs> That's a prequel then. He, he's the Joker. Oh he is God. the Joker. Korean Joker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a spinning and the, and the son, the rich family son, that's Korean Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um. Yeah, what happens? Oh, yeah. He then gets questioned by the police. He and his mother get convicted. Yes, and they're out on parole or something like Probation, that. Probation, yeah. Probation, oh, yeah. yeah. So they don't get, like, in prison, but yeah. they're, like, under surveillance. And yeah, like and they just get told for so long because they're trying to figure out... Where the dad is. Because the police, they don't know where the dad has gone. They're still looking for him. Yeah. Uh, there's no CCTVs around that area. That they got cut. Yeah, yeah. they got cut during the film. Yeah. which is which you would think was only a big part during that part of the film yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you're rich and it get fixed yeah 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 <laughs> I guess no one noticed 
that's what it is. But who's watching the camera then? Whose camera is this? <laughs> they just have it there. It's like if you need us, if you get robbed, you, yeah. you look who, who did it. Yeah. I need to know who owned that CCTV camera. I got, a, <laughs> I got a complaint right now. Yeah. So what happens is the dad he hid in the bunker. Yeah. That apparently that was his first thought to go straight to the bunker. Yeah. yeah. He found the garage open, half open. Yeah. And he like straight went back into the house and went into the bunker. And we know all of this because he's sending Morse code. Yes. A long ass message, <laughs> by the way, may I say. Every day. Yeah, Full every day during this same exact time. And yeah. the son feels compelled to go to the mountain or something like that and look afar at the house yeah. he said he did it because he missed the house or something yeah yeah, yeah. i get that mm. yeah. he just wanted to see how's the house yeah. the house is doing yeah because the house has now been uh taken over by like a new family yeah he's been sold to Korean. another family yeah to a german family yeah, yeah. A german family. Mm. they don't eat hot dogs and sausages uh, and beer. they yeah. all, they don't only eat sausages and beer <laughs> so that's good so the son finds this long letter that Dad is sending through Morse code. Yeah, through the lights, the exact, the exact same system that the bunk, the other bunker guy was using yeah. before. Yeah, to say that he is there and that he hopes that one day they can meet each other again. Yeah, yeah. So the son goes back. He runs, goes back home, happy because yeah. his dad alive. Yeah. He knows where where he is. Yeah, and. He starts writing a letter to his dad. Yes. And he falls asleep while writing that. Yeah. And we get to see his hopes and dreams. Yeah. As, as we talked before, it's like, you know, he he hopes that one day he becomes yeah. successful. Successful, has a wife. Yeah. Becomes rich. Yeah. And I'm gonna buy that house. Buy yeah. the same house. Yeah. Move in there, and then the sequence shows the father coming out from the bunker and goes to hug his son. Yeah. <laughs> And that's all he wants, basically. Yeah. yeah. And we then fade back to the son. Yeah. Who finishes this. Finishing off the letter. Finishing off the letter. And that's yeah. the end of the film. Yeah. yeah. Terrible film. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, would not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work. And that's that's yeah. it. Sorry, 8, eight out of 10 doctors won't recommend this film. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I think it was very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's very different. Yeah, yeah. I really like the comedy in this film. Mm -hmm. I found it re refreshing, yeah. re as CJ said, it was very different from the Marvel film. Yeah, where the comedy is more, it's not just like quick dialogue. Yeah, it's mm. more like the whole situation. It's that all the, the setup. film as a whole. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was very pretty balanced on how they handled the comedy. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, and you wanna close off the podcast? Yeah, I think they're they're gonna kick us out. Yeah, our time's running out. So yeah, we went that long. Was, we did go pretty long. long. Yeah, I hope you appreciate well that. Well that. Yeah, nice. Well that. We're, we we're fist bumping each other right now. <laughs> Wait, let's do one to the to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. So that was our first ever podcast. First yeah. and only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about the Oscars in general, but we did spend a lot of time on this film. So maybe next time, because I do have quite a bit I want to screech about the Oscars. All right. Just in general. So next time, uh, we'll CJ that. is going to run us through the Oscars. The Oscars. But, and that was the first episode of the Laughing Boys podcast. Thank you all for listening, and we will see you next time. Follow us on uh, social media. What's uh, your yes. Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that? I am at Liger254 on Twitter and Instagram. I don't want to tell you yet. I'll tell you another time. <laughs> You'll find it in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.